Welcome, Red Knight. hello and good day there happy terrific tuesday getting back to our readings here today some other exciting stuff in store once we get first chatter and some other interesting things yeah we'll take a look at it a little bit later we'll probably get back to tomb raider and red dead tonight as well for our main adventures yeah firebot i actually didn't launch there i thought i did but you know a few things i'm getting in store firebot good Yes, yes, my lord. All right, gonna turn off the desktop audio for now. Get those headphones in after the readings. For now, we're on speakers. No re need to read with headphones early. We're gonna get to find me our semi-finale of find me after tonight. We will be finishing it. So let's read probably just the one chapter now because we do want to save the rest of the chapters, which aren't too many. And I don't know if there's much epilogue or things at the end, but we'll see how it looks today for the main setup for the big finale. And then we'll also get to Dune House Harkonnen, join some good Dune kick lately, well, for a while now, but it's always a good time. And um, that will be lovely, so look forward to chat with you soon. We'll show a few other things here, other good things, uh, very shortly. Ooh, reminds me, fix Firebot here. Let's move that above that scroll for a future reference. <laughs> All right, looking good for now. Let's head on over to the Chillstone as we celebrate July 2024 here on the Dragon's Roost. Show you more good things here soon to come. But for now, we have what we need to get started. And we're going to have a great time of it. So let's get to our readings first. Once we get first chatter, I'll show just a couple little things here on paint. And uh, physically... Not too much to show, but still a good thing for first chatter to uh, to be witnessed, to be appreciated. All right, we left off with the Find Me uh, several weeks ago now. Let's see where we did leave off. I am sure there are a few starting points for us. I gave him one last kiss before snuggling into him after he leaned forward to hit play. He whispered, sure thing, babe. 
with a chuckle as we started our adventure in the world above. We warm up those uh, enunciation, those vowels, those uh, jowls, what would you call it? Yeah, the diction, diction, articulate the consonants, things like that. Let's work on it. It's been a while, you know, got to get back to it. It just takes a little practice. We'll eventually hit the right foundation. Look forward to chat with you soon. Yeah, we will be focusing on our new cheers here for July. Off to the ninja there. <laughs> Do the new cheers. Hold on. Yeah, ninja chat actually. I need to put that alphabetical order now that I notice it. Put him under a marsh. Perfect. All right, yeah, new cheers here. We wait enjoyment here shortly. Hope you enjoyed episode three of House of the Dragon. We discussed it a little bit here, speaking of which. But, uh, yeah, season two, good stuff. All right, let's get back to it here for Find Me, lovely first published novel by Brianna Marie with the Vampires, Vampire Society, interesting stuff. And we'll clear out uh, featured chatters. Actually, wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> I do have these specific things for the reading, so... Yeah, my, my good a time as any to clear these featured chatters. Just start off the month. Marshmallow finished out last month with a 500-bit cheer, putting him uh, still in the third position. Top cheer is 3,110. Thank you, Marsh, for your good efforts and support. With the Dragon's Roost, me being the main proprietor so far, but hopefully in future generations later. Ace the Sly and other hosts. Ninja, thank you for the Prime sub. Lovely Prime sub in June. We'll uh, make more celebrations of that. You can see another hype train, other things like that very soon. Cinnamon, nice to see you last night for some uh, Fortnite discussions. Always good to see you, Cinnamon. We'll get your sugar here next time. I'll make sure it plays next time since uh, you had your introduction playing last time. Do the do thing. We're finishing our previous cheer menu. Hope to see you again soon. Hope all is well. And you're part of the world and training, and that you are staying safe. Uh, it's two do's, actually, yeah. Alucard, thank you for the 18 months, the black and white sigil. Thank you for being the first chatter with the full 1.5 year badge. All right, that catches us up. Now I have the current reading that we might as well show for our last two Find Me streams. And that will be Find Me with the chapter, not 52. Yeah, it's <laughs> 52. That was left over from uh, Micro, wasn't it? So there were 52 chapters in Micro. Yeah, I feel like this must have been Micro. Anyway, we'll get to that later. For now, we're on 38 of so Find Me. This is indeed 38, the next chapter from the last title. All right, you'll see that good. It's a moment of, uh, as soon as the uh, chat clears up. I did have featured chats, I feel like, above that, so let's go ahead and. Just move that on up here. Oh, that's novel reading. That's for well, doing how Sarcon will be next, but that doesn't have chapters, so not worried about that. Yeah, we have numbers and is it alternate reading, current reading, and yeah, not novel reading, current reading. There's also alternate reading, which we'll be going on to Benvolio soon after we finished our Romeo and Juliet last time. Alright, now we're set for find me. Chapter that. All right, now we can. Good enough. Yeah, I think that's good enough. It yeah, gets the point across. All right. Hope you enjoy on our YouTube playlist. Now add it in the Discord. I'll link them separately individually once we finish this one probably. But for now, let us begin with Find Me, Chapter Thirty Eight, Discussions. It was Sunday, and Eric, Elena, Clayton, and Cassandra were downstairs with me. They were playing a game that I did not understand about memes, so I sat out and watched the fun. The deck was almost gone when little Emmett came running down the stairs while calling out to me. Cat! Cat! Look what I made you at school! He rushed over, swishing this bad cutout in front of me while the others stopped their game to see what he was showing me. Thank you, Emmett. That is perfect. Did you make it all by yourself? Yep. Do you like it? He bit his little lip, waiting for my response. Of course I do. It is perfect. I will place it here on my bookshelf where everyone will see it and I can see it every day. 
It would seem I had the right answer as his little chest puffed up with pride. He then grabbed my hand while pulling me up the stairs so we could go to dinner, leaving the others laughing behind us. Dinner was a fun affair. Emmett spent the majority of the time talking with the uh, other younger ones while the adults laughed and joked together. Clayton was telling me about his game when I heard it. Everything was fine until I heard a slight rustling of leaves outside the front door. Before anyone could even register what was happening, I was out the door towards the sound. Who are you? I demanded as a vampire stood before me, one I had not seen before. Her body language told me she was not a threat, but that did not mean it was correct. I had been out of the game for a while now, so I could be just resting. Who are you? I demanded as I heard the front door open and the people standing near, the front door most likely watching. My lady, I am Sean's sister. I can't leave the castle without others knowing, unlike him. I didn't know how to come sooner. Sean was heard from trying to protect you, and I have been caring for him. He is hurt over and over every day. What do you mean he was hurt? I can't say more. I need to go home, but watch out. They're up to something. Please be careful. Without another word, she was gone. And I could hear Eric calling for me as he walked out the front door. Catalina, I am here. I called back, still watching where Sean's sister left. Him, Elena, and Romus. Came up behind me, trying to see what I was no longer seeing. What happened? Are you okay? May we go back? I do not feel well. I cannot believe Sean was still being hurt because of me. Was he trying to stop them from doing something new to me? Was he truly being hurt daily because of me? How bad was it? Sure, Eric put his arm around me, around my waist, and led me back toward his house. I ignored all the questioning looks and went right to my room to lay on my bed. My back was to the door so I could look out the window, but I could feel Eric there. I knew he was confused and had no idea what to do. Eric? Yeah. Could you... would you hold me? I needed support right now and I knew I could receive it from him. I desired it from him. Of course. He crawled into bed behind me and I lifted my head so he could put his arm under it. That'd be the big twist if he's actually charmed by her, not just genuine relationship him. Could be interesting. His other arm wrapped around my waist and pulled me close. He did not push me for answers nor ask me anything. He had just laid there, holding me. I felt safe. Safe to talk and tell him what happened. It was Sean's sister, the guard I told you about. 
I thought vampires could only have babies if they were higher up. He had a good point. I forgot to explain that to him. That is true. It is not uncommon for vampires to build their own families for kinship. For him, he has a sister and I believe two brothers. I am royal, so I cannot do such a thing. His sister would not even tell me her name, though. She came and said he is hurt. That they hurt him over and over because he was protecting me. That they were watching me. We already knew this. But now I know how long Sean's been suffering because of me. Was it since he whispered he was sorry in the cellar? Was it a new punishment? How was his poor wife faring? Shh. Whatever is happening back there, it isn't your fault. You've been exiled and can only control yourself. Let's face it, your ex is a psycho. He's gonna do whatever it takes. He's gonna do whatever he can to hurt you. For all we know, he threatened Sean's life if his sisters didn't send that if his sister didn't send that message. That was also a possibility. It also made our idea of having me leave the country even more important. We should speak to your family about moving. It is even more important now. I know, but let's lay here for a few more minutes. I want you to take a couple minutes for you. You don't have to be strong and or have your mask in place. Give yourself these minutes to calm down. He kissed the back of my head, causing me to nod. He was amazing always helping me in ways I was not even aware I needed. His family seemed to be the same way. They only pushed me when it was urgent. I wish I was part of this family. Once I felt calm, I pulled away from Eric's arms, enough to turn and look at him. Thank you for all you do for me. I understand it may not seem like much to you, but you make me feel safe. You make me feel cared for. I kissed him in a slow, passionate kiss to show him everything I felt, which he gladly returned. You aren't the only one who benefits from this. I'm sure you won't believe me yet, but I know it's too soon. And I know it's too soon, but you make me feel loved. He kissed me quickly with a cocky grin. You ready to go up and explain things so the family calms down? And ask them about leaving here? Maybe even staying with me? Mr. Lazar, are you proposing we live together? I teased him. I am, Lady Catalina, he said with mock seriousness. I could not help but laugh. Well, if it were up to me, then I would say yes. I smiled back at my... I smiled back as my laughter started to calm. Good. Now let's go persuade the masses. With one last kiss, Eric rolled out of bed, then offered his hand for me to follow. No, was Romus's response to our idea. Romus, we should hear why. No, he's not living alone with her. For all we know, it could be a plot on her end. That hurt. Even his wife was willing to hear me out. But his dad, who I thought was okay with me, thought I was using his son. For what? What did I have to gain from him? He was third in line. May I explain something now that Eric 
had his turn and everyone seems to be thinking to have their mindset. I kept my voice even and made sure not to show the hurt I felt. Catalina, Maruna tried to say something, but Decibel of all people cut her off. That reminded me that I needed to speak to him. Let her talk. With them watching us and trying to get to me, it would be wise for not only me, but all three of us to leave this house and go to the city. This house is too isolated. There are only a few humans that could catch them in the act, which gives them too much freedom. If we were in the city, they would have to completely change their plan and act human. It would cut off any chance for them to surprise us. Having a grown-up snatch a child, someone looking in windows, all that would be noticed. We may not be able to play their game, but we can be better than them and prepare. Plus, we would all be closer. The downside to this plan is upsetting them. I would recommend anyone, anything you cannot live without, I would recommend anything you cannot live without gets moved out of here. Who knows what they will do when they realize we are done playing along. I could see them all thinking over what I said, trying to see if I was just making it up to stay with Eric or if I w it was something that was honest. I hope they knew me well enough to see I would not use the situation with my family as a way to get closer to Eric. I could have used that card long ago if I wanted to. And you staying with my son? What about that? Romus pushed. I could stay with you, but then you would have Cassandra and Clayton to worry about. Eric and I are together, so yes, we would like to have me stay with him. I am open to wherever, though. I also do not want to leave Decibel and Maruna alone due to no one being here to stop something from happening. I don't like it, but you haven't lied to us yet. Mom, Dad, why don't you two stay with us? Eric and Clayton's old rooms are still empty. So we have plenty of room. This way, all three of you will be with someone and safe. Catalina, I don't want you leaving Eric's apartment without someone. Same rules as before. I know we've given you a lot of freedom, but you are still under orders by the contract. You have to be with one of us. I know. I understand. Perfect. I believe your father and I need to pack, and Peter, you and Rahila have families to get home to. It's a school night, after all. As everyone said their goodbyes, I pulled Decibel aside to speak to him. As I had promised. Decibel, may I have a word in private? He sighed before nodding. His brownish-grayish hair moving with the motion. We went to the kitchen. And... Out the back door, so we could sit on the patio swing. So, what's on your mind? I would like to speak to you about what has been going on. I... I believe I am ready to forgive all of you for what happened. I will not forget. I do not think any of us can. I will not forgive myself as it was my job to protect my child, but I do not think you should carry the guilt any longer. You did not know, nor did we tell you. Knowing you as I do now, I have no doubt that you would have let me be if I came out and told you I was with child. Of course I would have. Catalina, no matter how much I hated you or anyone else, I would never ever hurt a child. Ever. I truly want to die knowing what I did. I can see why you hate us so much and want to kill me. Hell, part of me wishes you just do it. I will not kill you or your wife. I care for your family, and it would hurt them deeply. I could not do that to them. 
I wish I could say I'm happy to hear that. Please listen. My child is gone, but you are not. Your family has noticed there is something wrong with you, and they want you to get better. Please, do not waste your life when you have so many people who care for you. With that, I left him to think over my words. It was up to him if he wanted to act on them or not. I had done all I could by talking to him. We all control our own lives, and the same could be said for him. Voice commands here soon, lurk and other stuff. If you're not just posting the Discord, other good quotes and things from other characters, but yeah, we'll get more soon. Eventually. Okay. So for him. We'll pick it up next time, chapter 39. And I think we'll finish it all in one go there, the last nine and fruit chapters of the 40s. I don't think there's too much more in the 40s, so we will see about that. Or find me. Gonna be great. On to Dune House Harkonnen. Let's get ready for that. Alrighty, pretty interesting. Moving along, should be a pretty good final part of it. So something exciting. Good setup for the next book, too. It's kind of the foundation of the series, so good start. to Dune. Let's check it out. All that good stuff. All right, let's see where we left off on Dune. With the House Harkonnen bastards that they are. <laughs> let's see. We left off. Topher directed him toward the still fluttering Thopter. He was delighted to see that she had brought the old Duke's sword back to him. That's right, all the stuff with. Uh, yeah, it was Duncan, right? Yeah, Duncan. Gurney on the planet. Switch. Wake up. The bald woman had to raise her voice to be heard over the loud hum of the aircraft's engines as she applied thrust. Now it is time to begin your real training. Let's pick it up from there. Alrighty. Yeah, from what I could tell, the couple stream tests we did for Find Me, pretty steady, pretty stable, pretty good audio balance. But always open to feedback. You need only comment in the comment section. Any feedback improvements for the future, for the time we have on stream, for the rest of the year at least. So that's a good, uh, you know, five months, five whole months. Well, July, August, September, October, November, December, six months if you include the rest of this month. <laughs> six whole months, basically. Alrighty. Special knowledge can be a terrible disadvantage if it leads you too far along a path that you cannot explain anymore. In a medit- that's from Mintat Admonition. Yeah. 
in a meditation alcove in the darkest basement of Harkonnen Keep. Peter de Vries could not hear the screech of amputation, saws, or the screams of torture, victims from an open doorway just down the hall. His mentat concentration was focused too intensely on other, more important matters. Numerous harsh drugs enhanced his thinking process. Sitting with his eyes closed, he pondered the clockwork of the Imperium, how the cogs meshed and slipped and ground together. The great and minor houses of the Landsrad, the Spacing Guild, the Bene Gesserit, and the commercial trading conglomerate, C-H-O-A-M, Cho, were the key cogs, and all depended upon one thing. Melange, the spice. House Arconan reaped huge profits from its spice monopoly. When they'd learned of the secret Project Amal years ago, the Baron had needed little coaxing to realize how he would suffer financial ruin if a cheap melange substitute were ever developed. One that made Arrakis worthless. The Emperor, or more likely Finnering, had hidden the artificial spice scheme well. He'd buried the vastly expensive project in the vagaries of the Imperial budget, imposed higher taxes, trumped up fines there, called in long-standing debts, sold valuable properties, but Peter de Vries knew where to look. Consequences Plans, preparations, third and fourth order ripples that could not remain invisible. Only a mentat could follow them all. And the indications pointed to a long-term project that would bring about the economic ruin of House Harkonnen. Harkonnen. We call it Harkonnen, I guess. Harkonnen, Harkonnen. There's a lot of words, you know. They're different versions, different ways to say them, and several movies and things, they have said them differently, so it's kind of a preference, but you get the, the point, right? Harkonnens, Harkonnen. It's kind of the same thing, right? <laughs> the Baron, however, would not go quietly. He had even attempted to start a war between the Bene Tleilax and House Atreides, in order to destroy the Amal work, but the plan that plan had failed, thanks to the damnable Duke Leto. Since then, infiltrating spies onto the planet formerly known as Ix had proven predictably difficult, and his Mintat projections gave him no reason to believe that Tleilaxu had ceased their experiments. Indeed, since the Emperor was sending two more legions of Peacekeeper Sardaukar to Ix, the research might finally be reaching ahead. Or Shaddam might be reaching the limits of his patience. Now, in his Mintat trance, De Vries did not move a muscle other than his eyes. A tray of mind-enhancing drugs hung around his neck. A slowly spinning platform like a table centerpiece. A yellow carrion fly landed on his nose, but he didn't see it, didn't feel it. The insect crawled onto his lower lip and kissed the spilled bitter sappho juice there. De Vries studied the rotating smorgasbord of drugs, and with a flick of his eyes, Stop the turntable. The tray tilted, pouring a vial of tecopia syrup into his mouth. And with it, the hapless fly, followed by a capsule of melange, concentrate. <laughs> I hate the fly! <laughs> the mentad bit down on the spice capsule and swallowed, tasting an explosion of sweet burning cassia essence. Then he summoned a second capsule, more, 
melange that he had ever consumed in one sitting, but he needed the clarity now. A torture victim in a distant cell howled, babbling a confession. But DeVries noticed nothing. Impervious to distraction, he plunged deeper into his own mind. Deeper. He felt his awareness opening and unfolding of time like the spreading petals of a flower. He flowed along a continuum, each part accessible to his brain. He saw his exact place in it. Yeah, whether or not the original author was under influences of drugs, they definitely have a lot of drugs in the in the series itself, so it's just interesting to consider, you know. But I don't know the exact story, you know, like the, the writing of it at all. Okay. In his mind's eye, one of several possible futures became clear. An extraordinary Mintat projection based upon an avalanche of information and intuition. Enhanced by massive melange consumption. The vision was a series of painful film book images. Visual spikes driven into his eye. He saw the Tleilaxu master researcher proudly holding a vial of a synthetic spice and laughing as he consumed it for himself. Success! A blur. He saw the Harkonnens on Arrakis, packing up, leaving all their spice production behind. Troops of armed Sardaukar guards marched blurred figures to an Imperial transport, taking them away from holdings on the desert world. He saw the Harkonnen blue griffin banner, taken down from the fortress in Carthag and the residency at Arrakeen, and replaced with the green and black of House Atreides. A strangled noise came from his throat, and his mintad mind sifted through the prescient images, forced them into a pattern, and tried to translate what he had seen. The Harkonnens will lose their spice monopoly, but not necessarily because of the Amal being developed by the Tleilaxu in collision, collusion with the Emperor. How, then? As the drugs multi-tentacled hold tightened, smothering him, his mind streaked down one avenue of synapsis after another. Each time he found nothing, only dead ends. He circled around and tried again, but reached the same conclusion. How will it happen? Heavy consumption of mixed drugs was not an approved method of stimulating mind powers, but he wasn't a normal mentat. A gifted person accepted into the school and trained in the arcane methods of data sorting and analysis. Peter de Vries was a twisted mentat, grown in a Tleilaxu axolotl tank from the cells of a dead mentat and trained by others who had broken from the mentat's school. After dispensing their warped training, the Tleilaxu retained no control over their mentats, though de Vries had no doubt that they had another fully grown Gola, genetically identical to him, just waiting in case Baron Harkonnen happened to lose patience with him one too many times. The Telexu twisting produced an enrichment that could be obtained in no other way. It gave DeVries greater capabilities, far beyond what normal Mentats could attain but it also made him unpredictable and dangerous, potentially beyond control. For decades, the Bene Tleilax had experimented with drug combinations on their Mentats. In his formative years, De Vries had been one of their subjects. The effects had been unpredictable and inconclusive resulting in alterations, improvements, he hoped, to his brain. 
Ever since he'd been sold to House Harkonnen, De Vries had performed his own tests, refining his body, turning it to the condition he wanted. With just the right mixture of chemicals, he had achieved a high degree of mental clarity for faster processing of data. Why will House Harkonnen lose the Spice Monopoly, and when? It seemed wise to suggest to the Baron that he reinforce his operations. Double check the secret melange stockpiles hidden on Lenky Vale and some elsewhere. We must protect ourselves from this disaster. His heavy eyelids flickered, lifted. Bright particles of light swam into his eyes. With difficulty, he focused his vision. He heard squealing. Past the half-closed door, two uniformed men wheeled a squeaky gurney, on top of which lay a mishappen lump that had once been a human form. Why will House Harkonnen lose its space monopoly? Sadly, he realized the drugs he had administered were wearing off. Dissipating in the effort to unravel the trouble, the troubled prescient vision. Why? He needed to take this to an even deeper level. I must learn the answer. In a frenzy, he detached the drug tray from his neck, dumping juice and capsules on the floor. Falling to his knees, he gathered all the pills he could find and swallowed them. Like an animal, he lapped up the spilled Sappho juice before he huddled in a jittering heap on the cold floor. Why? When a pleasurable feeling came over him, he lay back on the sticky, wet surface, staring at the ceiling. His involuntary body function slowed, giving him the outward appearance of death. But his mind was racing, its electrochemical activity increasing, neurons sorting signals, processing, searching, electrical impulses, leaping synaptic gaps, faster and faster. Why? Why? His cognitive pathways fired in all directions. Crossed, sizzled, potassium and sodium ions collided with other radicals in his brain cells. The internal mechanisms broke down, no longer able to handle the fire hose flow of data. He was on the brink of vaulting into mental chaos and slipping into a coma. Instead, his marvelous Mintat mind went into survival mode, shutting down functions, limiting the damage. Peter de Vries awoke in a pool of spilled drug residue. His nostrils, mouth, and throat burned. At the Mintat's side, the Baron paced back and forth, scolding him like a child. Look at the mess you've made, Peter. All that wasted... melange. And I almost had to purchase a new Mintat from the Tleilaxu. Don't ever be so thoughtless and wasteful again. De Vries struggled to sit up, wanting to tell the Baron about his vision, the destruction of House Harkonnen. I... I have seen... But he could not get the words out. It would take a long time before he was able to string sentences together coherently. Worse yet, apparently, even with his desperate overdose, he still did not have an answer for the Baron. <laughs> All right, let's pick it up from there, Dune House Arcona. We're going to have plenty of time with this book in the midst of uh, Benvolio work, which we'll do probably, you know, once a week or so. It's still really early in the process, but, uh, yep, that'll do it for our readings today. Hope you enjoyed the both of them. We'll be back to them soon. With my thermometer. Alrighty then. The 
get to our first adventure. Yeah, I'll work on the t-shirt design at some point just for the picture of it, but at least we got that Magnificent Monday in the About Me section today as well. Tried to organize it, have it under the, you know, the schedule of the days of the week, but uh, it's kind of hard to put in the right place, but it's there in any case, so. That will be good for now. Excellent. All right. Pick it up from there then. See what else. Okay. Let's see. For our first adventure, well, it is Terra Tuesday. Why don't we just do a little Darkwood before maybe Tomb Raider and Red Dead. Darkwood is actually a good thing to get to for now. Checking out a few things. be enough for now. Alright. Enough to get the uh, point across. So yeah, Darkwood was very challenging type of horror game, survival game, but by learning, by playing, by challenging yourself, you become a better overall player. I mean, you would hope. So let's try out some more of it for now. First time since uh, 17th. I made it through the prologue, hopefully some other achievements and things. And I made the badge too, the mushroom badge. Look at that. Mushrooms. Alright, let's head to some of that then. Dark wood. Should be cool. Right back to Dune, another sci fi fun. Tears in the rain. Very soon here, yeah. I'm gonna watch the end of that again. That was a good one. No borderless window needed. Might as well get the headphones in for easier access and such. All right, we shall check it out. And when first chatter arrives here at the 49 minute mark, it will show the couple things as well. But we'll check it out all in good time. All right, couple weird loadout things here. <laughs> <laughs> Weird wizard development. It's pretty interesting, actually. All right. Good for now. Yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> Going to, uh, yeah, profile one, day three. Man, it's pretty difficult, but we'll try. Indigo Go content. Play. That's how you do it. All right, and here we go. 
Respect the woods. Respect something. <laughs> Pretty crazy. But we'll see. Alright, let's uh, clear out our lovely dragon knights here for now. Game capture, the display capture. Alright, we have got... Alucard. I have two for Alucard. I need to put that one in the actual spot, don't I? Yes, I do. See, I have this Alucard, the green sigil. The other one is somewhere else. Let me pause it. I don't know middle of the night or where I am. Let me give it a quick little pause. All right, Alucard, black and white sigil. That should obviously be by the other black the other alucard next to asuna actually alucard we will see you soon thank you again danny girl thank you for that 10 cheer catch you later danny thank you as always mr marsh appreciate you hope to see you again soon and cinnamon same for you Lovely sugary cinnamon. All right, that's good for now. Let's see how this audio balances. A little loud for now, but let's see how it is. Get the frame drop coming in now too, out of nowhere. Very slight frame drop. Turn it down just slightly here. Still be you know impactful. So yeah, I was at the end of the day, I did that upgrade. I forgot what my upgrade was. Look at these other injections. All right, got the embryo there. The animal embryo. Yeah, my first upgrade wasn't it uh, to heal on light sources, I believe it was. I don't really know how to see that. <laughs> Do need to heal a little bit though. Should I use the bandages? And is this the next day? This is the morning? Hard to tell. I think this is the morning, right? All right, well, I've been trying to get to what I need to cross that entrance. And I forgot what I needed already a couple of weeks since. But I have the other things to sell, the merchant and such. Where is the merchant? I might just want to stash some things because you have limited carry room, of course. The backpack is, yeah, pretty much full. Just hoping to sell some of these. Well, merchant's not there tonight or today. Maybe we already finished that phase. So how about we store things? I think you have to store them in the cabinet, wasn't it? The wardrobe. That'll work for some. I'll keep the bread, keep the bandages. Just drag over. Oh, I got pills. Shell I can sell. Shiny metal, I'm pretty sure. So that shiny stone, yeah, it's just in the hot bar. Staff is a weapon, torch I need. Scrap metal. Keep the bread, pills, bandage. Might need the matchstick to make like more like, torches and things. But I'll come back for it as I need it. And we'll use the rest of the flashlight too. So just the essential things. Oh, yeah, I forgot how to turn it on and off actually. There you go. Mm -hmm. Staff equipped just so I'm not wasting resources. Wait, so that was the start of the night. That was the end of the evening. I thought I had already got through it. Apparently not. Oh, I better turn the generator on. Then. Oh dear. I thought I was already through the night. Maybe not. It's hard to tell the definite time, so. Let's push this back into position. I don't have any traps and things. How you attack. Drag it back to the doorway type of area here. Oh boy. This is not looking too good. I think I used most of my traps and things already. More stuff in here. Moonshine. Oh, mushroom book. The use of mushrooms in the household. Don't think you use anything on that. Maybe you can sell it or something. Rope. Can I make another rope trap? 
Wait, now it is like daylight again. I'm so confused. We got the front door. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Something's coming. <laughs> it's just not looking too good. Alright, down a little bit. Some games are just louder than others. I did barricade that, that's good. I did fix that. Board. The board. Nothing over here, the workbench. Yeah, that other board with nails was the other rudimentary weapon, but not needed too much. Okay, can we? I want to go home. Put this in there for now. Well, there's another way out, but uh, yeah, I'm wasting the gas on the generator. Who's talking there? Is that somebody there? Very hard to tell what that is. Okay, um, guess I better go out this way again. There's that trap there. I think it was used already. Alright, I'm just gonna go out this way. It's not much of a barricade anyway. Damn, I'm wasting gas. That's not good, but it does seem to be night, isn't it? I really can't tell what time it is right now. I have night protection at least, but... Oh! It was a poison mushroom came out of nowhere. I'm just gonna keep it on to be safe. Better safe than sorry, right? I need to heal something. Oh, dear. Poison. Alright, let me just do something to heal. Bread or something. Eat the bread. <laughs> Your lungs are more efficient because of the bread? What? Alright, well that didn't really heal very much. Before I get attacked here... You lose stuff when you die or something. I just use what I have while I have it, you know? My lungs are more. And the dog. Shit. Oh no. Forget how to attack. About to die, though. Close the damn door. I need at least regenerate some. That was close. Nearly got me there. Oof. Okay. We're back to good shape at least. Finish the dang dog. Let me attack him like that, the heavy attack. Oh shit, he's still alive. Like, I can't finish it. I don't know how to finish the attack. Oh. Dead dog in the bedroom. Got some meat at least. Bait for carnivores. No need for that at the moment. Oh, there's more. Night of the dogs. Another oh, savage guy. Alright, the stick is getting damaged, but at least it does the trick. And we're almost clear here, yeah. Alright, we survived the night very barely, actually. At first, he nearly got me, so lost progress or something. Turn off the generator. It has, yeah, half gas still, so that's good. And the dawn is coming. Whew. Pretty intense. That red dawn there. On to day four. So I guess I had, like, saved or left at the end of day three. Alright, reputation for the traitor. Is the traitor there now? Should check real quick. To tell he's in the kitchen usually, so seems like he might be there. Trader, yeah, he is there. You can see him through the walls. Keep the generator off. Time freeze, night protection. Yeah, the time freeze. You have plenty of time, basically. There he is. Reputation at least, because we survived the night. I 
Let me sell that what shiny rock, right? Then I have that somewhere here. At least sell that. I can use the scrap metal and nails. I'm gonna sell the bullet and then get more later, just for temporary. Throwable meat. Maybe that's worth something at least. Where'd that shiny rock I had go? Maybe that's in the other storage. Alright, well at least got that barricade on the main door. This is the only one that's really vulnerable, you just can't close this one. That's always got to be open for the whole game. Alright, we'll save the generator power. Maybe in here. Where I put the shiny rock? I had it earlier. Hmm. I don't know where it shows your upgrades. Like, there's no, like, character page, so. Tricky. Just got to remember it. Alright, well, will he want to buy that? Yeah, five at least for the meat. I can't think of much other use for them currently. Yeah, I'll just sell them and give them value. So it's based on reputation, not actual currency. It's just reputation, that's funny. Alright, well, could get more gasoline. The mushrooms, I do need that for the upgrades. That's like four over. That's barely over. All right, let's get this to start with. 60. How will he not do two difference? That's nothing, man. Maybe give him... Well, it's not an extra torch. Like, you think you have two torches. It's just the slot number two. Oh, well. Don't need bullets for now. Weapon parts. Tape. Nine volt battery. Yeah, I'd get the extra gas just to use it, but it's too close, so... At least I have the mushroom. Which I can actually... Well, it'll rot over time, so yeah, I'll just cook it. There's not really much else to do with that. Alright, 20 essence. You know, slowly work our way up there. And I might as well save the extra reputation for now. Not much to do with him. See what else I need to get through that, and this one too. I think you need lockpicks or specific keys or something. It's pretty weird, but we'll be back. Nice rainy day again. I do have lockpick. No, you have to make the lockpick. I only have these things. I'm just getting confused the different inventory slots. Interesting for now though, all we need. Welcome to Lurker. Great to see you there, lurking. It's a great fun last time. In the rain. All right, fun readings. On we go. First adventure. Gonna save the saw power. Four boards for the well. That might be worth it. Let's explore for now, though. Try to figure out how to get uh, past those doors again. Doesn't matter too much where I go now. I'm just trying to find initial things. I think you can spend as long as you need to finish the game, but so much of it is just, you know, as you figure out what to do, it doesn't tell you how to do anything, so it's very much open-ended. But it's interesting for what it is. Get the bear trap, scrap metal. Once I run out of that staff, that's from the Savage, actually. Once I run out of that, I only have a weapon except the torch, so... I should probably think of other weapons or making more torches. Like alcohol or something. They are not easy to make, though. And you can't use your fists, I think. There's just no starter weapon. You have to find a weapon, basically. That's pretty brutal. Torch is an expensive weapon. I'm better off just with a board with nails, probably. burned house. Don't remember how to... what I need to get past it, so let's take a look. Already played two hours. Yeah, I'm at the limit of uh, refunding the game, but uh, <laughs> that's not needed. I already bought it well, like a couple months ago. I'm supposed to try in the first like two weeks and the first two hours, I think. It might be a little refund. Under two hours, no matter how long you've had it, but Oh yeah, there's people in there too, remember that. Don't have a key, so... 
Hopefully that will reveal itself later. For now, I'll just get the other spots. In the maze, very interesting. Might be something in the middle of the maze or something. Big maze. Fascinating for what it is as well. Okay. What else we got here? Quite a few things in the rain. Stamina in the rain. Yeah, I'm just not good at uh, figuring out what to do, how to do it, these type of open-ended games, so it's a good challenge for me. Nothing else. I just really like the easy, clear point objectives or clear, you know, deathmatch type of environments, you know, playing chivalry, dark and darker. Hunt today. It was, you know, pretty straightforward objectives. Actually, I had some really good rounds. Yeah, I'll show you screenshots later. Dark and Darker played with some European streamers and got some good progress. Actually made it to the second level, too. And we fought the bosses for the first time. Never seen the Cyclops and the Cave Troll. Hunt had a decent couple duos, or trios. And uh, Chivalry 2 played Trey and Citadel full time out. We got a Malric win. Actually, the time ran out, so... It was an exciting day of multiplayer games too for a little time I had after I got back home today. Oh man. Yeah, I just try to work on this section and I figure out what I need or how to craft it, but I feel like I'm just gonna run out of time, run out of resources. And I won't have what I need by the time the game is like over just by the days going too long. It's been like a whole year or something. A whole year of nights. Pretty sure the game's Kind of end at that point. <laughs> or it should be over at that point. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Underground entrance. This is new, actually. So that'd be nice. I can actually go in there. So now I have uh, this place. Check that out. I could keep that up, actually. Not get the scrap metal for it. Just use it against enemies, but it has to be there. I can't re-place it is the thing. Alright, nails and a board. Good for a weapon, if nothing else. Don't have a hammer, I guess. You need to make it at the workbench. This is the house. I'll find the entrance to the underground here. Alright, as far as I know, I don't really need this one. But I only have so much room, too, so... Yeah, scrap metal, good for now. Alright, that's the place. Let's see if we can go underground. Whoa. Yeah, at least step in that. Cycle between currently selected objectives. Press E. Why? What are you talking about? There's objectives? <laughs> what is it even talking about? Anyway, let me grab these things. Different kinds of pills. That's kind of... Oh, you sell those. The other ones aren't consumable. It's my bullet and a 9 volt. Alright. Oh, there's more here. Can I stack the nails? Yes. Lockpick. My first lockpick. Alright. A big bundle of clothes and a backpack, which I already search. I don't know what it means cycle between objectives. Oh, mushrooms. There we go. Take those back to the base. Alright, odd looking mushroom, and I am completely full of my backpack now, so I should probably go back to base before I go any further. That's yeah, literally everything maxed out, unless at least I'm behind. And there's more in here. Yeah, I'll bring some gas back. So I'll leave the bullet here for now, I don't really need that. Cigarettes are worth one, that must be a quest item or something. Nothing else I can stack, right? So, that should be pretty good for now. Yeah, just come back, you know, pick up where I left off. But I do need to deposit everything at the base. Get the merchants still there. Otherwise, yeah, I'm just gonna probably pour the gas into my machines and deposit the rest for later. Pretty much. Yeah, I didn't really need to bring 
all that extra stuff, but I figured it's good to have at least one healing item and a light source. I've been using the flashlight, but I could use the flashlight, leave the flashlight here, but I'm not really bringing anything back, so yeah, let's just head back for now. Uh oh. More dogs. I could probably avoid them for now. I could just kill them, but I can't really carry their meat anyway, so. It's hard to finish the attack. You have to like double click. Sometimes it just goes through automatically. It's weird. Alright, no room for your meat dog. I just got dropped on the ground now, yeah. Alright, switch the rag for the meat. I'll be back for the rag. Unless, of course, it disappears, but as far as I know, things don't disappear over time. Alright, gas first of all. Yeah, I have the saw and the main generator. And you can also use it to set things on fire, but at least this is about basic practical use. It's good to have it available, you know? Alright, that tops that off nicely for what I had. So I'll wait for later. It's good to have the generator though. Alright, merchant's gone for now. Let's cook that mushroom too. Ten essence. We're almost yeah, two thirds of the way there. For dose number two. Efficiency one on the oven. Maybe you can upgrade that. Don't know how all that works yet. Anything to make in the workbench while well, I have all this stuff. I can make a trap. Scrap metal. It's good defenses, but you know, last time I freaking step in my own trap. Guess I'll just hold off on that for now. Nothing to upgrade, and the workshop itself, I need six more boards. I have enough nails, though. And, oh, there's the big storage. Yeah, let me store some things. I also need boards for the... Yeah, I'll sell the pills later. Do you need boards for the well outside? I'll sell the meat. Let me just, uh... Yeah, the bread gives you lungs. It doesn't actually heal you. Just gives you better lung capacity. Alright, one of the rags. I'm only holding the lockpick for now. I imagine you can use it somewhere. I have my torch out. That's not a good idea. Alright, doesn't really matter. That's at least, you know, getting room for now. So let's head back. Should be fine. While the day is waning, you don't actually pause time except in the morning, so... Don't know the code for that. I'm not working getting more boards for this. Let's head back while we still have time. And we have emergency pills if we do get really hurt. We have the lockpick and we also have stab isn't as effective because they're so fast they'll charge you. You have to fight him at some point. Stick broke, gosh dang it. That's my main weapon. Alright, I can't use my fist so that's all I have for now. I better make a board or something. So I better make a board with nails in it. Can't think of what else to do. You need weapons. Survive. Defend yourself. The rabid dogs will pretty much tear you apart. Okay, to make the crudest weapon, the torch is pretty elaborate. So it's kind of a shame I use that, but I have the flashlight at least. Board with weapons, yeah, I need two boards. I don't have any more, it might be in the other container. I might have split them. If I don't have any more, then I just have to avoid fighting, so. That's kind of annoying, you know. You might be able to defend yourself. All right, at least have the one for now. We'll finish that last dog and I'll have the rest for defense. There we go. All right, all I have for now. 
Good enough. Yeah, the lockpick I imagine you use in specific places, but we'll see. Alright, back we go. Hat guy is pretty funny start of the game. He plays a different character. Thought that was interesting. Okay. Back down we go. Where was that whole dog area? Yeah, over here. Got a tent, that's right. Shows their health, yeah. I don't know if it does more damage to the board or not. But that's alright. Alright, not great on health, but I can't exactly make any bandages anyway. I might have had more rags on the workbench, but I'll just try to be careful for now. Oh, what do you know? Rags for bandages. It's kind of a waste to heal, but you know, I can't avoid taking damage every time. Just part of the game, taking damage. Yeah, might as well stitch yourself up. Top top, it's probably better to use the region when you're about to fight so that you do have more region, but I'm just glad to heal for now. Alright, more gas, that's nice. More meat. Oh, corpse here, alcohol. Yeah, the region lasts you almost more like three health bars, so I should probably not have healed so early, but too late now. Can you stack the meat? That would be a lot better. Yeah, people don't <laughs> always realize you can stack stuff up to three, at least it says max three. But yeah, that's good. All right, back down we go. Take that, I guess. Could have them step in that, help me out a little bit, but it's whatever. Alright then, Let's see what else we got here, pretty good fun, with the western themes back to Red Dead, but you know, we'll give a chance to the more other things, when we get to um, Tomb Raider, probably as well, let me check, One emoji. There we go. Story shared. It said story shared, so I'll believe it. There we go. Try to get our chat started before. Ten hours. One hour would be nice, but ten hours. It's also fine. Okay. Back to where we were then. To building. Ebb and flow, so the other one, Shibari, a uh, fierce deity or something. A lot of funny names, steam and things. Oh yeah, so I actually overshot it. Got to go back to the top right. I think I ran past it, and again, it's pretty easy to get lost. So let's take another look. Is this it? Oh, that's not it. That is that one, yeah. We're actually supposed to go to continue the game. But I can't yet. Cleared out that pretty well. Is that a freaking bugs? What are these bugs? Oh, no. In the hole. They went in the hole. Actually went in the hole. <laughs> That's freaky. All right, well it is starting to get dark, so I'm gonna go that other area. Maybe we can stay the night underground. Probably a bad idea, stay anywhere except the home, the oven stuff. <laughs> Spend the night anywhere else, but I'm at least trying to get back to where I was to get some more things there. 
said he had an underground entrance, so yeah, I probably just went too far to the left or something. A little bread to increase my lungs. Right? Okay. Where is that underground entrance? We were just there earlier. Just gotta find it again. There's that circle. Yeah, it's kind of weird that I found it, you know. So, a weird spot. Ah, oh, Already out of time, though. Or he's gonna, yeah, die, so... Lose all the stuff. Where was it? Am I too far right? I thought it was too far left. Oh, no. I don't know where it was. It's, I mean, I found it by accident. I had never been there before all the time I played last time, so. Uh, I'll have to save it for the next day, I guess. But it's irritating. Oh, lockpick. Yeah. First I've seen that opportunity. Sweet. All right. At least we're not completely empty-handed. That was worth it. Now we're just about full. Let me try the pills. All right, now I'll go back at least. <laughs> Not empty-handed. That's nice. Happened upon the truck. That was pretty lucky, honestly. Just happened upon that like that. Ah, crazy deer. Stag. A very crazy buck. He needs a shotgun. Yeah, he is rabid. He will charge you. Not at all a peaceful, tranquil buck. That doesn't even help, really. On my way back. Avoid the mushrooms. Kind of hard to miss the house, but I <laughs> put it past it, you know. The fog is the house, right? Somewhere in the area. Still just not that familiar, even with his own house. I went too far, yeah. Oh, no. I literally just saw those earlier. Shoot. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think we should turn the generator on. Probably, huh? Probably well advised to do that. Okay. Now we're set. Set as we could be, with our wooden board at least. My crude weapon. Best I got for now. Too dangerous to cook during the night. At least barricaded the front door. Takes a lot of boards to repair doorways. And barricades. Alright, well, I'll sell all this the next day. Some good gas. How is that? I didn't do that. Someone shooting a flare. What the hell? What is happening? I definitely didn't do that. I don't know you could even climb through windows. But you can. Who put a flare there? Alright, I'm gonna stay inside the freaking house. I definitely did not do that flare. I didn't have a flare. Right? What happened? This is confusing. Well, it does make me curious. Like, is there someone out there? There's no way I could have done that. Oh, the savage bastard again. Stop climbing, just avoid the... There's no stealth walking, either run or you don't. Back inside. 
Got freaking savages in our yard. Freaking. Hide behind the lamp. Oh, it's better hide in the dark or hide in the light, you know? But in case he's here, kind of be messing with stuff. They're pretty difficult to fight, you know? Here in the dark. Alone in the dark. Holy. He's coming in, so. Why pretend like he's not gonna attack me? Is it worth it to close the door? Probably not. And climb out the window. Yeah, they don't seem to do that. I didn't even realize you could do that. So that makes it easier to loop him at least. I don't think he's destroying anything. There's not really much to destroy in this house. So, we'll let him make his noises and might eventually pass. Yeah, the generator helps, but there's plenty of things. Oh, the dog, too. He bet brought his pet dog. Enough. We're almost clear. Oh, I'm actually stuck. They just disappear when the the night ends. So, so okay. Generator is good. to day five. More reputation each night. I can eventually afford things just by surviving long enough. Okay. You can have the meat. Meat. I can buy extra gas. I don't really need it though. I do need boards, so maybe I should buy boards on them. They're actually pretty cheap, so that'll work. Staff is 24. I do need weapons. Alright, I'll buy the staff and that's a little broken. Buy another flare. That doesn't seem worth it. Bolt handle, axe blade, scrap metal, more boards. There you go. I'll sell these. Those are just to be sold. Anything else that I can't really use? Yeah, we'll try that for now. At least something. Nothing to cook yet, right? No. The Halloween serum. Those puppies that just keep sending more, basically. Alright, how about. Yeah, we fixed the well first. I've been wanting to do that. After that, I can build doors and things. Ooh, gas bottles. Nice. We need something. What is that that I need? I don't know what that icon is. It's a mushroom, I guess. Toxic and highly flammable gas. Hot bar upgrade. Is that like my actual belt? Hot bar? What is that? Uh, I need to upgrade the workshop. Oh, yeah. To do that, I just need nails, right? Yeah, I just need nails for that. Let's do the well first, and we'll see if we can upgrade the workbench. Time for you should last as long as you don't leave the, the vicinity, I think. Just like inside the general, you know, the outline of the building. Alright, let's repair the well. We can drink from the well, which is healing! We actually have free healing now. That is nice. That makes a big difference. Alright, the saw is for converting wood logs to planks. Don't have any logs at the moment. Can use the staff. Can use the staff? That'd be funny. Just destroy my weapon. <laughs> Alright, let's fill it up with some gas. 
So it has gas for future use. Time freeze, good thing to do things around the base. That was quick, huh? But I have it, I might as well use it, I guess. I'm just gonna set things on fire otherwise, so. Use the rest of that gas. Generator is in good shape, so yeah, that'll be for the saw. It takes a good bit of energy to, to make boards. Alright, let's see if I have any more nails, or I can buy some maybe. What time freeze? I don't know if it lasts only the morning, because when I came back it wasn't working the second time, so I'm not going to risk it and leave the area. Let's see, we got a wardrobe here. No nails, so it's alcohol and empty glass bottles. Do you have any nails? Yep, plenty of nails. Pretty expensive, they add up, but I'll probably need them eventually, so. Well, that's all of them. Magazine, other things. Good shape. It only gives you that one free <laughs> reputation purchase, then you actually have to be matching him. Alright, how about that upgrade on the workbench for what it's good for, you know? We can do it, so craft more items and fit more upgrades into weapons when I upgrade my workbench. Might as well, I'll upgrade weapons and things. Alright, single shot pistol, I just need the barrel, which he does sell. Molotovs. And inventory upgrade. That'll be nice. What is that though? Bandages? Like, I can't even tell what that is. Wire. That's not bandages, it's like a sheet of some kind, just like a big cloth. <laughs> Too it doesn't tell me what it is, just the picture of it. But it's alright. Oh, I can't make wire for a lockpick. That was helpful last time. I can make torches. At least I have some flashlight juice left. I have a weapon. Do the 9 volt batteries go in the flashlight? <laughs> nope. Alright, well, let's. Uh, yeah, it would make sense they don't. They just usually use double A, triple A. How about board? That'd be good, but I think yeah, I'll make a lockpick just while I have this stuff for it. Alright, got my lockpick. The rest of these I should sell. Keep the scrap metal, I guess. Oh yeah, pills I can sell. Don't need any traps. Don't really need bandages. I have emergency yeah, consumables. Let's see how much those are worth. Actually, it might be worth it to sell those. Just stay healthy, you know, and if I die, I die, but it's not the harder difficulty, so you don't really need them as much. They're not worth anything? Oh, there you go. 40. Those are worth 40 apiece. Alright, we'll keep one emergency health just for convenience sake. I'll sell the rest of those. Meat as well, which is worth a lot less. Pills. And the meat. More meat. Nice. That should help a bit. Good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, I'd say so. It helps. Definitely helps. Dark and Dark Glitter. I'm doing much multiplayer tonight. I already played three multiplayer games earlier, so... Let's focus on the time we have on stream. Be a very exciting big stream. Let me get our chat started. What was that? Alright, we'll still have the time freeze, so there's no reason to freak out or anything. Let me check a couple things. Screenshots, yeah, I have screenshots of the game. Pretty lovely. So I'll go to that other area. I have yeah, way too much in the inventory though. So <laughs> do need to store that. But yeah, it's nice to upgrade the workbench. Get the well, which is also good for the rest of the game. And you can keep upgrading it. So now I need a toolbox of some kind and boards. Yeah, I don't know what that toolbox is. Don't have that yet. So let's keep the boards here for now. I have my extra weapon, which is probably going to be needed here soon. Lockpick, urgency pills. And I will store 
rest for now. Alright, we good to venture forth. Last time I couldn't find this underground entrance again. It says it's like in the middle there. I don't think it's actually straight south, but I guess we'll go straight south to start. And we start the new day, day five. Of Madness Darkwood in the Dragon's Roost. Yeah, it's nice to have the well. Should check back tomorrow. Yeah, you get one use per day. So don't waste that, apparently. But I didn't even know that's what it did, so... I had to test it initially, you know. Alright, we'll use the board first. Any dogs or savages. Okay, extra, oh, extra bottle. The dog, is that a radio there? What in the hell? What are those noises? Yeah, according to the map, it is like basically southwest, middle of the map. Just don't remember it being there when I found it before, but... Is this it? Barricade is too strong to dismantle. Can you break it? Don't really need to, so... Alright, I'll pick up where I left off here. Which is getting all this stuff. Pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Look at that. Interesting. Smoking those cigarettes. For those who enjoy tobacco tar. Entrance to the underground tunnels. Enter. Alright, let's get in there. Freaky enough, but we shall see. One more message for now, and I will be done with the plugging for the night. I can always do other plugs later. Better plug ever pictures. Tonight is mainly posting stream shadow, which I'll be showing first chatter, specifically what that is in the picture and discussing it, but we shall see. Pretty interesting though. Pretty challenging, but pretty good. Alright, we're in good shape, got everything we need for now, steady, stable, eyes open. Might need the flashlight down here. This is some elaborate tunnels. Don't want to fall off a cliff or something, I don't know what would kill you instantly. Something in the game probably would. The tunnel walls were crushed by enormous roots. It's digging, burrowing underneath. Dig, you can dig, but you need shovel. Pretty sure that's a full shovel, not just a shovel head, you know. <laughs> Maybe you can only get the shovel head, though, so I'll start with that from the trader. That shows the daylight. It's already getting late. And a few things. Batteries, I'm sure, will come in handy somewhere. Motorcycle magazine from this year, or this year's issue. <laughs> that was just in time, I guess. No, it's Moto Magazine. Is that motor? Wait, is that just like to look at? You don't even keep the cigarettes or that? Light bulb dimly lights the wet wall of the underground passage. The further part is shrouded in complete darkness. I need a light source to continue. Why? Can't you walk in the dark? The construction seems on the verge of collapse. Subground tingling cords. I'm trying to save the battery. I don't have that much. Oh shit. Someone's up there. <laughs> Alright, which way? Which way? I don't know. <laughs> Part of the passage is blocked by overgrown tangle roots. Can't dig on those. Bit of my flashlight juice. It's actually worth a lot, but it's look, it's decreasing in value for every little bit I use. Started at 100, now at 31, but yeah, it's helpful, you know. I'm gonna use it for what it's worth. That's funny though. Every single bit I use it, it's decreasing in value by the moment. Is that? 
dot dot. Yeah, no shit. Odd meat. Well, that'll be good. Eat the tree thing. Can I whack the tree? No. Well, that's a nasty sight. Let's move on. Whatever the heck that was. Nothing on the corpse there. Light. Ah, oh, you are weaker. Dead mushrooms. No antidote. This side then. Armor door. Locked. It's my only way out. I won't be able to open it without my key. Look at the handle. Press your ear against the keyhole. Look through the keyhole. through the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. The hatch handle is covered in a thick layer of dust. It hasn't been open for at least two weeks. Alright. So, you need a special key for that. I can't, uh, get in otherwise. But we will be back, I'm sure. Ah! Oh! Alright, leave for now, I think. Let's see the flashlight much as I can without taking any more damage. Thank you on that. I'll come back when I'm more prepared for that. No thanks for now. Oh, mushrooms. There we go. Yeah, I can shotgun that later. Okay. <laughs> Good for now. Alright. Got some mushrooms and that odd meat does decay over time, so we need to get back to the house right away. Just to be safe. Yeah, it's in a weird part of the map, but just kind of in the middle of things. Without being obviously so. But we got what we need for now. Yeah, I did not want to risk it with whatever mutant thing that was. No thanks. Not needed. Unless you're very excited to fight it, inspired, I'll give it my best, but... Otherwise, best to save it for later. Let's head on home. To the headquarters. Home base. Make some progress with other consumables and things. So, other pictures. Thank you, ship left. Alrighty. That'll be saved till tomorrow. Hop on in. Alright, I'll go straight to the stove, yeah. It's time for another dose. Yeah, 12 essence. Didn't it say like 50 of her? Or it was worth 50. It was worth a lot, I think. But anyway, I'm going to sell it. Because I need another dose of this. Upgrades for the character. Well, getting there eventually. Okay. All I can really do for now. Let's see, see about storage and things. What do I have that I don't need? More boards. Bullets. Bottles. And matches. 50 matches. OK, 
Keep the lockpick, keep the pills, keep the rest. Alright, well the time we have on this day... I guess I'll keep heading south, and not much I can do north, so... Oh yeah, I did find a way through that. After all. That's a really far distance away, though. Pretty much as soon as dusk hits, you're farthest away on the map, which is like this area. It's like as far as you can be in the forest, then you have to immediately head back, so... Enjoy the day for now. Decent bit of health to work with. Flashlight still has another 20 charge. I could just sell what's left, but seems pretty helpful. It says you need a light source in certain places. But then again, you know the trader sells you things you actually progress the game with, so that might be more valuable. I'll try to only use it if I'm really desperate for it. First time I was in that underground passage. <laughs> I wanted to be safe, but say that thing chase you after you see the door. That was definitely interesting. Easy to get overwhelmed, lose your way, and get ambushed. Fairly easy to do. Get that light on here shortly. Let the day pass by. Don't let the days go by. Trying to get back to that other area, the big section, so we can remember what P.O. Trek's house was. Go from there. Hmm. Probably lose durability. I hit items with it like the other game we were playing, Dying Light, had that too. Yeah, oh, it's a good day for Dying Light also. I didn't think about it. I was thinking Tomb Raider and Red Dead, but they can wait till tomorrow after work or so. How about some Dying Light after this? Darkwood and Dying Light. Double D games. Don't know the combination, but I still have a way past this without knowing that. I do know it. it's like here, it's run down somewhere, but... So we get the bugs again. Any bugs? There's the bugs. Valuable bugs. Okay. Rags, I didn't get last time. It does show the... Oh yeah, shotgun shells. Forgot about that. Sleeper has awakened. Whoop. <laughs> Apparently you can do that. That was mean, but it's not worse than Laura Croft shooting the blinded guy. Crazy, you could do that. Should have let the sleeper sleep, but... <laughs> Too curious to see what you can do in these video games. Bridge the gap of reality and fantasy. And fiction, stranger than fiction. Demon da armadillo, what is that? What is that? Oh yeah, it was the enormous dog. We fought this earlier. There's another one. There's another one here. One more. Board. Oh my. Odd meat. Good odd meat. Yeah, the odd meat's worth more than all the other stuff because it's rare, I guess. But I still want the dose, you know. I don't know how many levels you can dose him, but you probably want all of them. Guess I'm pretty good at the last one, I'd imagine. Or something even necessary, as far as I know. Alright, so Piotrix House, this other. Hide out. It's already starting to get dark, so we do. Oh no. <laughs> well, I have the well now. I feel like there's less reason to heal unless I feel it's important to take those pills. We can, but if we don't really need to. I don't know. Just mushrooms. Yeah, the next one will kill me, actually. <laughs> Hope I regenerate at least half health. And there is dogs here. 
Let's go carefully then. Go slowly. Take your time. It's all that logs. You don't regenerate much health by yourself, so it does help to be cautious. Watch where you step. There we go. Some logs and nails. Let's get those back for sure. Another deer. We'll go very slowly here. I can't afford to step on another poisonous mushroom patch. I could just take the pills, but I have the well now. I feel like I should conserve resources. Oh, destroyed well for a rope. What is this? Piatrix house again? Yeah, I didn't get a lot last time. I just barely scratched the surface of being here last time, so. Interesting. Can't jump over the wall. Giant fence. Maybe this is an entrance, though. Tractors and things. I'm very low health, so I'm gonna fight. I probably should heal first. Heavy smell of gasoline in the air. Mushrooms. Oh yeah, that's the ones you have to destroy again. The crawling vine, basically. Those are poisonous. You do have to burn those. Uh -oh. Is he gonna block me? I feel like I can't get out the windows anyway, but... Hopefully they can get past him just out running. Normally you can't outrun a dog. These video game logic things are easier on you, but normally dogs are not outrunnable. Alright, got more meat. No room for the meat. I'll come back for the shell, I guess. I don't know. Well, it's worth a lot more, so never mind. I'll come back for that pot of meat. Use this bait. Yeah, that's not really the important one. All right, let's head back from there. I guess I'm very low health. I don't want to lose anything, so explore more later. Right now, I'm gonna prioritize health and what I have so far in stash and inventory, which is a full inventory. Oh yeah, I can make bandages. That works. Not a moment too soon. All these. Dogs in the area. There you go. Alright. Yeah, I had rags, so might as well use them. Let's explore a little more while we have light, at least. That was fortunate. Have some health to work with. Scrap metal warehouse. The walls are covered with fungus and spider webs. It's very stuffy in here. Pair that just to hold out here. I smell Rosen. Need a key. Who's there? Lock pick won't work here then. Not coming out until that beast lurking in my garage is gone. What beast? None of my keys fit. There's no beast in your garage. Oh, he means the plant probably. So I just need some fire for that. Can I make any? Torch might might do the trick. Uh, don't have enough stuff on me, so. All right, I'll be back to deal with the plant later. Might need a Molotov or something for that. The torch might do it. I think you just pour gas on it, can't you? I don't have a torch to light it, so if I did have gas. Yeah, we have to destroy the plant for him. All these barricade things, D-Day barricades. Explore a little more before I head back. Oh, watch your step. <laughs> watch where you step. That was my only bandages, so that's as much health as I'm getting for now. Without using my emergency pills. Whoa! Something happened over here. Somebody hunting or something. Is that a bear or something? <laughs> Sounds like a bear to me. Bear trap. Speaking of bears, yeah, I should probably shouldn't do that, but I'll take the scrap metal for now. That's rotting, so I have to get it back quick, or I won't be able to cook it. Something's in here. But I'm just about at the edge where I should go. 
before heading back. I think I can do a circle because that's actually... Maybe I can go the other side of that, maybe. But it's too far to try for now. Alright, lockpick time. That's why I'm holding on to one. I don't think I actually have to equip it, but anyway, there we go. Alright, we got pellet gun, bear trap, extra pills, which I can stack, extra nails, extra bottle, I don't have room for that. I think I need pellet gun ammo, but it's worth a lot. Pellet gun sounds pretty weak. Uh oh. Alright, well, I'll be back for that, or at least full for now. It's more valuable, though. Alright, let me just get out of here before they ambush me or something. Back to base since we are pretty full. Put the bear trap, uh... I could sell it, but... There's a lot of things attacking me at night. It'd probably be helpful. Put it outside, if not in the house. We'll decide here soon. It might be just better to sell it, to be honest. Can survive by running away. <laughs> Your trap is not good. There's a dog there, but I have no room for his meat, so I'm gonna leave him be. Head on back without running into anything nasty. Back the way I came. That should be good for the next night. Is it auto saving? I think it saves when you get in the house or something. So I do want to move on to some Dying Light, which was actually a lot of fun last time. The weapons were basically on the last mission, second part of the last mission. Epilogue type stuff, or, you know, the very final bit. So we'll check it out before we uninstall it, because I'm not going to play Hell Raid and I have many other things to get to. Dying Light 2 is out, so... Had enough fun with it towards the end of it that I'm actually considering it now. I was just hesitant at first, but then I actually having a lot more fun with it. As we get the, f the feel of it again and start making weapons and things. Okay. Oh, there's that one. We just keep like placing random ones, or I just didn't see it before. Oh. <laughs> Savages. Ah, oh, son of a. See how you like that. Silly savage. Throwing rocks at me and shit. <laughs> Ordinary stone. I'll be back for it. You can keep his rocks for now. You like some punk? Come into my house, middle of the night. I'll show you. Fixed by his deity, but I will not spare him. Oh, I got another one. Good. This one's broken. Can I still sell it? No, it's worth one. Whack him on the freaking head with it. Could put the bear trap near him, but I'm just gonna take that for now. Uh oh. There you go, punk. Told you not to mess with me. Come back for that one. I don't have room. And pills. No bottle. Alright. Yeah, I'm taking like a few unnecessary items, but then again, I'm not like taking a full inventory, so at least I had some room. Alright, time to get back. I'm not there, am I? <laughs> I was like, where am I? It's a red freaking area. I think I'm relatively close to the base. Very easy to get lost. Bridge? Where the freaking bridge? Where am I? I'm here? I went the complete wrong way. I'm screwed. I went the complete wrong way. Oh no, it's about to be dark. This is not looking good at all. Alright, better equip those health so at least I'll have something. I could really use a torch or something right now. I have the rest of the flashlight. It's about to get real dark real fast, and we are so far from the base. Oh my goodness, this might be the end of his uh, first life. I still haven't died yet, so... I've come close to dying. I'm very close to dying, but I still haven't actually died yet. 
Oh no. Alright, well, we have to work our way back. We are way too far east. We're literally in the middle of the other side. The farthest we can be from the base. Like I was saying earlier. Oh boy, this is going to be hard to get back. But we better get as much progress as we can. I'm just so disoriented. I don't know. Oh shit. Which leads into what? That didn't help. Could have done without that. High sakes madness. Let's get on out of here. Oh, it's dark. It is very dark. I have only a few more seconds on the flashlight. We did not want to be caught here. It actually warned me the last night because it was like the first time I had played. It's the last time, I guess. Oh, shoot, man. Bad things are going to happen at night in this forest. Not good for our character here. Straw hat. Just give him a name. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's take some pills. At least have some extra pills. Ooh, that was a quick recovery. They actually cured him. The poison, too. Those are nice. Instant cure. Alright, let's take it slow and steady here. I'm gonna find my way back. Or I should run fast. I don't know. I'm so lost. Aw, oh, shit. No. In the <laughs> all right, can't get Kai out middle of the night. Let's see if we lost all this stuff or not. Damn. Yeah, I just got way too far out there. Holy, that was nasty. Well, because I have it on the easier difficulty, I only lost some of my stuff, but I did lose a lot. Well, that was nasty. <laughs> Skips that night, I guess. Alright, well, I need to get my stuff back, so we'll pick it up from there next time. Yeah, pretty intense, pretty freaky. But it's saved, and we're at least going to continue from there. Hopefully you can recover some of that stuff. I had a lot of stuff, but I think you can beat the game as long as it's not the really hard mode where you have limited lives. I think you can beat the game no matter how many times you die and such on the easier mode. But good for now. Pretty cool. about that how about that madness Whew. check something here dun 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 all right well, on we go here at the two hour mark. It is a perfect time and perfect, you know, situation for that last stuff there. Switch to Dying Light, first time since the other day. And we'll get the light on as well. Dying Light doesn't mean it has to be dark. <laughs> Let's get to a bit of that. Alrighty. Custom game, what is that, I wonder?
Let's see about it then. Good night, good luck. Interesting stuff. Pretty interesting. Gotta check it out. Carry on. Move on. It's good times earlier. Still not full screen for some reason. There's trouble with that, I think. Would be nice, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. People don't like full screen, but I think it's good. People don't like the setting for some reason. It just depends. Alright. With Zara's research, Dr. Camden might actually have a chance to develop a cure. Oh, you hope so. <laughs> At the very end here. A cure for vampirism. <laughs> what they would call zombies. Hmm. I'm with a small child. We need help. They they beat me. I'm turning. Please. We're in an apartment building opposite the abandoned construction site in the corner district. I'm begging you. Help my son! Yeah. There we go for now. Good Kopesh and all that. Still pretty loud, yeah. Have to save all of the suns. Greater good. Oh yeah, the katana. I <laughs> did get that last time. That's right. Let's check it out. Fire zombies. And the controls here. Katana, good to throw it like any other. Ah! Throwables are interesting. What did I have here? Molotovs. Most of my axes. <laughs> that guy, that's what I'm to do. If I can manage it, they're actually pretty fast right now. Dangerous one. There you go. She's still not down, yeah. Can take a beating. I need to get my katana back. It sucks. Throwing weapons really powerful. Oh, the fists! I haven't used those much. Not the most effective, as you can see. Yeah, so. Only downside of throwing the weapons is. You lose them. Boomerang compatible. I'm not gonna throw my Kopesh though. That's the most improved weapon I've had. I think ever. It literally has triple kings, so it doesn't get better than that. In this game. Alright, I need some camouflage shit. Get off me! Alright, time for camouflage. That makes it a lot easier. They're not fresh enough. Get off! Trying to switch the weapons. Camouflage! There you go. Moved in time, that was good. That makes it so much easier. That is definitely the meta for this one. Alright, where is my damn katana? Where is my katana here? Somewhere on the fence, remember. There you go. Just made the katana first time, first time I could get it, actually. I didn't make it, I believe. Yeah, see how much easier it is just to snap the neck? Actually killing them manually. Considerably easier. As gruesome as it is, but it's the way to do it.
Best way to do it. Welcome to Lurker. Hope you're doing well. Funny times here tonight. Yeah, several people want to play Dark and Darker with it. People inviting me, but the internet I don't think could allow it very well. It'd just be too laggy. Correct. Alright, moving on for now. De Deadpool! Holy. To the zombie love again. Bad spot. Careful of the bad spot. Tana Kopesh Dothraki fun. Okay. Working tomorrow. Maybe we'll have a guest star Thursday. The sea of cars, yeah, Magnificent Monday only guaranteed day stream. Oh shit, that one. I also need more bandages, you get a limited amount of those. Parkour it up. They are pretty relentless though, aren't they? Right, the humans here. Yeah, let's deal with them. Best way to do that. <laughs> that is kind of comical there. Freaking funny. Pretty funny. Okay, head on down. Watch the fall damage. There's some weapons too. How much room do I have? Not much, but some. That was funny. Shoot his head off. He doesn't even realize it first. He's still moving around like a chicken trick. There you go. Race. That's what I need. Whoa! What's happening with the grappling hook? That was funny. Just love it. Force levitation there, that was pretty good. Get off my roof! Get off! Oh no, climbers. There you go. Pass them if I can. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. Distress. Person in distress. Survivor died. Well, it's not like I ex actually had a chance to help him there. Come on, be real. Even if I had the gun out. Didn't even see him. Oh, is that an enemy? Generally, they're enemies if it doesn't show them as friendly. Get right away. Emmy, I made it. Good evening, Miss Emmy. Welcome back. Thank you for starting for chat for the evening here at the 2 hour 13 minute mark. You have brought the chat to life. You have kept that chat curse at bay for another day. Much appreciated. Emmy, you are just as good a dragon knight as any to show you our recent events here. So, ever since 2021, I have been working towards my 50 foundational subs. I spent today, they told me it was going to be like 30 bucks for some oil thing to help it burn off. And then they said it was going to be 10 bucks to do spark plugs at a Jiffy Lube. Turned out it was 250 bucks, the bill. So 250 bucks is the equivalent of 50 subs. I figured, I already spent 250 bucks today, why not spend another 250 for a $500 day and get those 50 foundational subs. Emmy, you or anyone else fulfills our nightly sub goal here. One sub, new sub, resub, gift sub for the evening. And I will gift 50 subs to match. I think that is a pretty good deal, so. Just let you know that is available. And yeah, the shot glass here. I'll open up the whiskey celebrate as well. Our foundational 50 been trying for since 2021. And I'm gonna unpin that because that's been there for three three years now. Exactly three years. When I first had the Witcher 500 hour stream, now we're about like 5,000 hours streamed and uh, almost 1,500 streams and VODs, so. Emmy, you have brought our chat to life. That is the current status of things. And we're excited for our new cheers as well, but to let you know, yep, yeah, that is what is going on. So, 
We fulfill that knightly sub goal. I'm quite likely to match it with 50 subs, 50 gift subs of my own. So we are looking forward to that. At which point I've gifted 80 times to the channel and definitely uh, overmatched the 12 gift subs for top gift subber besides myself and dab with a 10,000 cheer being the equivalent of 100 200 bucks i will be the top leader for everything in the dragon's juice category so once nightly sub goal is complete i am thinking it's time to gift those 50 foundational subs unlock that next emote slot and just spread the joy and wealth everywhere because we're gonna have merch soon other pictures of merch which is no profit oh shit yeah! Humans helping humans would be nice. I'm pretty sure that guy is actually hostile. Just a combat rifle. Doing something at least. Camouflage. There you go. Alright, we're in good shape. How you doing tonight, Emmy? It's all good with you. Monkey D. Luffy gonna be king of the pirates. Fortnite was fun last night, I mean, we'll play some time off stream. Right now, I'm gonna join some Red Dead Adventures, Dying Light, play some Dark and Darker earlier, some Chivalry 2, some Hunt. It's a good game of multiplayer games uh, off stream, a good day of multiplayer games. After I got home, how's your day, man? Anything exciting for this terrific Tuesday? Middle of the week, summer fun, huh? How's it going for you? Yeah, it removes your camouflage pretty quick, doesn't it? Shooting the gun. Oh well. Ooh, that got past them nicely. I wonder if you can crack the necks of the volatiles or these powerful <laughs> fuck. That was painful. That was a little painful. Alright, this is definitely the meta for this game in me. Crack some zombie necks. <laughs> ew, ew is right. You seen The Walking Dead in me? <laughs> that is a little gruesome. I'm sorry, but you know, zombies. What are Brecken's guys? Let's get him. You got got you son of a tramp. Oh, either your life or mine. Well, I think I know who's who's it's gonna be. Who's it's going to be? Oh. All right, that works. Katana time. <laughs> Katana action, Emmy. Oh, they beat me in the grapple. There you go. Oh man, taking hits though. So. No! Time to go. Into the water. Oof. Maybe you can get me here. I've never seen a zombie swim, so should be alright. Yeah, we get cleaned off. I mean, I know it's a little nasty. Zombie juices, but anyway, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us tonight. Keeping that chat curse at bay. My lovely pirate king, I mean, monkey D. Luffy avatar. Feel free to switch your avatar anything you'd like in the avatar widget, widget about me section. Miss Emmy. But I'm glad you're here, my friend. All right, let's carry on with the main quest line for now. That's the main thing to do. All the rest is extra, just, you know, navigating in the world. Probably climb this, yeah. You can climb almost anything in these type of games. We've got a case here. That's where the Molotovs come in handy. Check this out. Aussies are... You can't get us all. I can try. <laughs> One second. And yeah. So I have you and another person that could fill in.
All right, good to go. <laughs> Miss Simmy, thank you for joining us. How are you doing tonight? Let's get these guys, shall we? They're not so bad. Come the zombies, though. Oh, don't touch him when he's on fire, yeah. Generally a bad idea. That fucking hurt! Somebody will help me out. <laughs> Somebody will punch him in the back. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's pretty good in PCs, you know. Sacrificial short sword. What makes it so? I got my katana back and I picked it up. What makes it sacrificial? Freaking cultists or something? That's interesting. Alright, let's stay inconspicuous here. There might be more zombies in the prowl, so I'll go ahead and use that. Okay. And here we are. Good evening, Emmy. Enjoy some champion commands at your pleasure. And yep, yeah, state the status of things. The uh, fun stuff. I'll probably state it again, other chatter, but you at least have the idea, Emmy. I'm ready to give those 50 subs. Foundational 50 is ready to be met. Baby boy, what are you doing? Need that camo. Reapply. Just like sunscreen that I didn't do at the beach very well. Freaking spray on. This ain't spray on though. This is very much rub on. Yeah, this is the way to do it, I mean, as you can see. I wish there was a traitor sign that just automatically loots when you kill them, but that's probably more advanced. I mean, I can understand stealth takedown. They had that, for example, in Tomb Raiders, so they're not dying light. So we work our way over, you know. Just kind of some extra things on the way. I don't really need the resources, if I'm being honest, but it clears out the herd, you know, and it's very quick and efficient. I'm not gonna not loot them after doing that, so just the way it is. They just keep coming. I don't know if they actually stop spawning this city of zombies, so let's move on. There's only so much we need, you know. Sacrificial sword, funny too. It's the more powerful one. They can also be snapped up. Susceptible to stealth takedowns like any other. Just like Dowd was dishonored, you could just sneak up on Dowd. One of the main characters. Alright, we got what I need. Keep it stealthy. I said that toggle couch, my crouch, my version, I didn't have toggle crouch. And I added it. Oh, he sees me. Shoot him. He sees me. There you go. I need some ammo, actually. Oh, that hurt me. Really, huh? It's going to. Oh, dear. Wow. They're tough, you know. They're definitely tough. This one has ammo, but I'll take the gun too. Alright, see you later. Carry on. <laughs> no need to fight him. Zombies. There's not really much stealth for the players. They just like detect you instantly, it's weird. Radius stuff. It's not designed to be an advanced stealth system. Anyway. This is where I need to be. Just keep roaring all over the place. Get a few things. Hammer, coffee. A few things. Alright, my last bandages and I'm gonna start needing to make more. Pretty 
make soon. Probably should make more now, but I might not even have this stuff for them. How do I get down here? Seems like the entrance is this way. Let's find out, I guess. Okay. Somewhere around here. What is this thing? Trunk. That's uh, a trunk. <laughs> fascinating. I, I mean, pretty fascinating. You enjoyed your Fortnite. I'll be back with you at some point. I'll message you. Medkit Mania. Oh, it's nice. I probably should have paused, yeah. Okay. How to get in here? Probably this way. Give it a chance before you get frustrated, you know? Navigation frustrates me more than like combat thing. You can understand it's hard, you know, but just finding where to go is shouldn't be that hard. Walls. Freaking phone booth thing. It says here. It says lead cam and examine affected sample. It's like give it in the door or something like that. Hello, dead man. I saw you lurking there. Lovely to see you. Mr. Dead Man, the sleeper, awakens. How goes the dark and darker? Good fun, bro. Thank you for coming out of Lurkland. Great to see you. <laughs> oh boy. Exciting stuff, Dead Man. Playing some dark and darker today. How'd it go? It's great to give you live shoutouts. I've shouted you, shouted you out several times when uh, you weren't in chat. When you weren't live, but recently live here. Dark and darker, exciting. Sacrificial sword sucks. Look at that knockback. What the hell is that? What is happening here? That's just terrible. Very bad weapon. Yeah, I have to clear them out somehow here and get to where I need to go. Can just do the objective. Not yet. Okay. Oh, that's a lucky headshot. Usually it takes a few to kill them. Oh, shots. Alright. see what I need here. Bring out the gimp. Oh, dear. Guy. Oh, yeah. That's what I need. He can help me with the zombies. <laughs> Sometimes. Killing me, hopefully. All right, there we go. Oh, oh son of a! Yeah. Defeat him, honorable combat at least, not just shoot him. You must be Crane. <laughs> yeah, I can see you through the security cameras. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. Use the elevator, push the button for the bottom floor. Got it. Find Camden. Nice. Now you can come in. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm forgetting the flashlight button. T. Yeah, T is a pretty weird button for a flashlight, but anyway. Is gladiator things? I said push the button. That quick time. We don't actually have to hold the healing. Yet. Anyway, hey statue. Check the collectible. <laughs> what? Player menu. Oh look at that. 
I got a statue. Zombie statue. 11 out of 100. Wow. 30 flags? I haven't got a single flag yet. There's 30 flags, so we're probably on high places. Destroying things. Alright, to the elevator, I guess. We'll let them deal with them outside. Using all his ammunition all day. Just being silly, obviously you don't need to do that. Dead man with the fleshy dragon, pink dragon, looking good. Same applies to you, dead man. Fulfill our nightly sub goal of one sub. I'm likely to gift 50 subs here tonight. For the rest of July. Nightly sub goal rest of the year even. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it. I'm not gonna reset the widgets. Nightly sub goal, I usually reset the widget. I'm just going to keep it for the rest of the year, probably. Foundational 50 after three years, so. Once we fulfill the nightly sub goal, take a whiskey shot of glass for you. And Bean Boozled awaits for the first time as well with our new cheers. New cheers for Bean Boozled. Or, yeah, more than five subs. Who else counts? But I hope you had some fun, dark and darker. Emmy and I played some Fortnite. It's hard, but fun to try. Darkwood was also hard, but Dying Light, pretty good. With Zara's research, Dr. Camden might actually have a chance to develop a cure. I was sad no, Hunter Dr. Invasion, you scumbag. It literally wants you to, to turn that on. Oh, my goodness. And not to mention, the GRE paid us quite handsomely. Oh, by the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. I needed extra power for my last experiment, and the generators overheated and shut down. Seems like a trap, huh? <laughs> Sprinklers. timer for the, the bombs. I uh, hope you don't mind me reminiscing out loud like this. It's uh, It's been quite a number of weeks since I've had the prospect of talking to an actual live human in person. Throwing stars. Can you equip those here? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, sandstorm is something. It's not very good. It's something. Get away from me! Okay. My last help again. I don't know where I got all these extra help from. Maybe it made somewhere I found some. I feel like it makes them automatically for you. That would make sense. If you have the materials, of course. What are those zombies doing? Leave the fire extinguishers alone. we got here these facilities that's <laughs> dark yeah flashlight needed for that one nice and dark oh my goodness okay speaking of yeah Targaryen flashlights and zombies yeah left for dead <laughs> exactly place some more left for dead dead man a good amount of it in the day. The Curse of Lazar Castle, a really nice custom map. You haven't played that one. I'm gonna play that again. You actually get a claw weapon unique and some cool traps. as Amnesia soundtrack. <laughs> rat. <laughs> what my rat? It's Pinky. Dead man, it's Pinky. 
We found Pinky. What happened to Pinky in this universe? In this game. Pinky. Oh my goodness. What have they done to you? Correct. Yeah, Sandstorm seems to be the same as the pump shotgun. I don't really know the difference. Not much difference. New shadows, though. Oh, look, you see the light through the shield. <laughs> That's the flashlight, yeah. Wow. Flashlight's nice to have. The UV flashlight, which is even better. But... What the fuck? That was a jump scare and a half. That was freaky, man. That's the first time they just leaped out like that on the chair. There wasn't even any sound to it. That could have really scared the crap out of me. Oh, that was a good one. That was a pretty good one. But no need for clips unless it's truly exceptional. Maybe we'll highlight later. No, there's no need for highlights. I like Sir Marin Tran highlights, same as our cheer for him. Celebrity cameo. For celebrity cameo. Alright, I guess we'll use the key card like a good boy. What am I unlocking though? Alright, now go down the main corridor. The lab is on the left. When the outbreak happened, Sarah and I stayed in the quarantine to work on the cure. You know who was supposed to protect us? Kadir Suleiman. Rise himself. That worked out just perfectly. Save some rifle ammo. <laughs> Can you get another version after the sandstorm? I wonder. Grill him and kill him. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I can't make any guns except. Mine's a semi-auto shotgun, and I never found that yet for some reason. But at least Sandstorm is the upgraded version of the pump shotgun. I just don't know what's upgraded about it. I've had the same stats, basically. <laughs> Always hard to switch to that fourth slot for some reason. But the gun we need... chance to look around. There you go. Killed him. Yeah. Pretty tough. That's alright. To save some of the 
Durability on that since it's my best Sarah weapon. The operative fell in with Brecken's crowd, I guess. Let's save some of the rifle. Yeah, I use pistol ammo, I guess. I would have as well if I'd been able to get to them. Whoops, <laughs> switch those. Like katana, eh? What happened to the katana? The bow, I might as well use the bow. Uh, I'm sorry about this, but the only way to get to the generator room is through the ventilation shafts. The shafts lead to the stock room. Electric area. There you can reach the hallway and then the generators. Oh, R is quick repair, I think. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Yeah, so I do have one electric. No, I have one incendiary and 15 electric somewhere. That could be nice for water. Alright, whatever you say, on the way. I don't want them to blow up, because they're right next to me. Doesn't do damage like it on, yeah. Just thinking about that. If you pull it out of them. Probably not the most efficient way to kill them, but... Can't open that, whatever that is. Whoops, throwing stars. Motor, gosh dang it. That hurt. Alright, time to make. Instead of losing survivor points, yeah. Be nice to make some bandages. <laughs> Med kits, alright, well, I can at least make a few. Gauze is hard to find, yeah. Gauze is not very common. But at least I have the alcohol, right? And my shot glass here, right here. I thought about taking the <laughs> whiskey bottle here too, but saving that in the cupboard. It's about my shot glass, which I bought for myself my last birthday. My big milestone birthday. No one actually got me any gifts. So. I bought myself a nice shot glass. Okay. Yeah, the headshots don't even kill them. Maybe nothing, huh? Not exactly efficient. If you have, you know, excess extra room and stuff, it's good, but not for these close, confined areas. Good, let's just finish it. Just all die. Craziness. All the arrows in the head, they don't even care about them. Bullets in the head aren't even that effective. Okay, yeah, melee weapons are the, the real star of this show. Use the vent system. Where is the vent system? Get all the extra stuff. Oh, you mean that vent system. Okay. Interesting. Normally I'd walk in the dark, but I don't know how well you you can see it, so to make it a little more watchable. Cloaking mm. behemoth, as always. Hello. Perfect. Nice. Let me try the electric arrow to see what it does. Without having water or the application. <laughs> Lightning storm. Nice. Oh shit! Whoa! Oh, chain reaction. Guess I'm not supposed to go here because there's no way to go forward. Can't get under it, can I? Maybe, but it's not very obvious. How did he get up there? Oops. Can I leave here? I'll be 
back later, don't worry. Ooh, poison gas. That's a dangerous thing. Take it slow in here. These poison barrels. Okay, probably best over there. Uh, careful the chemicals. Chemicals for crane. Pretty satisfying. Uh oh. Locked out. Pretty weird hit there, but I guess it worked. Interesting. Navigation, you know, that's probably the biggest challenge I have for, you know, store like certain nar narrative games, single player games. Plenty of arrows, huh? A few. There's more underneath them. Alright then. Not getting in there, I guess. Not that way. Another way. Why it marks it. Clearly can't go in there. There's no way to open this, I think. Is there? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> okay. All the guns and all the bullets that could kill all the people. It's kind of unsettling. You know, a sword, at least you have to put energy and effort that pull the trigger is much easier. But morally, it's the same thing. I mean, not any easier for your conscience to pull a trigger than to thrust a sword into someone. Just random thoughts as I'm stuck here. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Random thoughts and philosophies. Hmm. Oh, the forklift. Ah! See, I would have thought to use that. Until I really exhausted all other options. That's nice. Nice and dark in here. Big boy. Maybe he won't notice me if I stay in the dark. Extra challenge for myself. So the explosive tanks. You can probably see in the dark better than I can, though. Yeah, I feel like you can see. Me. And we're good. Nemesis! 
defeated our nemesis. Okay. Kick the cans as they blow up. <laughs> Can maybe reposition them. Not too necessary. Wow. Good enough. Gotta have my duct tape. <laughs> Alright, to the generator room. Can't open the bag. That. Another forklift. Thank you very much. System code. Good job. All right now, head back to the decontamination room. Is that good enough? To you know, I suspect even if Zara had been able to leave the quarantine, he wouldn't have. He and the operative both felt the need to stay and help people. They are high honor. Good people. Yeah, it's quite the city in turmoil. That's for sure. City of Chaos, Iran, Iran. Uh-oh. Do you have a reckoning with him after all? Let's dance, buddy. Oh, he hit me. Great glance to me, at least. <laughs> oh, nowhere to dodge him, yeah. Oh, shit. Ooh, that was close. Here for the head. <laughs> Good time to throw. Man. Give me my katana back at least. Uh, I don't really have to fight him, but I've come this far, you know. Every bullet count. Where is my shotgun this whole time? Off the shotgun. Oh, well. slow chambers. Good as the shotgun. This is better than hitting him with it. <laughs> How is a sledgehammer sticking out of him? That doesn't make sense. Well, he's not dead yet, he's just lost the will to fight. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, it'll take a lot of arrows. I don't know if it's worth killing flies like 50 bucks or something. <laughs> Maybe the shield will work against him. Let's try it, I guess. Yeah, it blocked a lot of damage. Probably breaks the shield. He did break the shield. Medieval axes. Yeah, he has so much damage unless you hit him in the head. Yeah, at least a thousand health. I don't know how much health he had, but he had a lot of health. And no good loot, but at least we killed him. Fought the good fight for the entertainment purposes. And the ragdoll purposes. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go. Nemesis. He doesn't look as much like Nemesis, he just looks like an <laughs> ogre troll. Modern ogre, modern troll. How they get so big, huh? Quite the strain of infection there. Do I have anything better for now? I'm out of ammo on that, right? I'm 
more pistol rounds. A deadly blade. I kind of doubt it, but I can at least throw it, you know? Use it for jump. You can also just break it by hitting it with that. You can repair it. Quick button, but. That's alright. Oh, yeah, my. Sledgehammer. I'll take that instead. Better quality. Better stats and all. Well, let's carry on. Well, you kind of did have to kill him. You could have dodged him, but it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Not have to deal with him in this next hallway, too. He'd obviously... Actually, yeah, he wouldn't be able to come down another day. But it's not a big deal. It's not that... There's no difficulties for the game, but it's relatively easy. I've been right. Resources, right? I don't remember if there's any difficulty settings. Not really. Alright. Carry on. Hit me, champion, dragon knight, dead man. At least I'm going. Yeah, if I don't get the next few days, I'll probably give them anyway, because on the 11th, only nine days from now, subs will be up to $6. <laughs> so it's a good time to, to bid the $5 sub area, literally the last swell. Almost, yeah, 15 years. Did that for a while. With a good 50, foundational 50. And we'll enjoy the solid month, 50, and we'll just have the rest the year. Door to begin the process. And the chill stone will have on the live scene for the rest of the month. When they expire, of course, on reset. Decontamination! Here we go. Sterilize the zombies. That's the most dynamic yet, it just clears them out. You don't want to be in there, I'm guessing. Nasty. Too nasty. Where did I get this axe from? Where my katana? I can't. I keep switching out stuff. Give the katana and the axe. All right. The now you can come in. Very martial loadout. Not before. Not. Not before I loot them all. <laughs> All the loots, I'm not even gonna spend. There's really not much things to spend money on in this game either. Like most games, you have money. Unless it's meant like it's a game about money, like marketing tech or something. Uh, there you go. Gauze, that's nice. Could craft a new item. What could it be? Toxic Striker, Hellfire, Small Toxic Effects, Small Fire Effects, Medium Electric, where's the big fire, the big toxic, <laughs> Medium Bleeding Effect, Filthy Blade, Bolter Poison, Create the most toxic poison weapon in the history of Haran. Mar Venomous. A strong toxic effect to your attacks. Huh. I can make four of those. I can make a lot of those. So the Fierce Kopesh already had three kings. If I add that to it. Let me see. Oh, it just adds it to like the base of it. I see. So now it should be poison, right? Let me see here. It has the three kings. Modified for poison. Don't need to repair it. It's uh, 58 out of 78 durability. And yeah, just the poison there. Three stacks of poison, basically. Nice. That should be even better now. The bolter poison. Yeah, see, it does change the look of it. Adds poison pad, whatever the heck that is. Oh, well, that should be even better now. Nice. And just creeping around with the ether. Let's see. Crane, glad to be finally shaking hands with you. Now, let's have those tissue samples, shall we? Hey, Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 just, just, just one minute. All right, 
we'll just let that run. That's gonna take quite a while. Now, what, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Hey, that's him. That, that, that's the GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We, uh, we had a mutual friend. The samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? Crane, you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doc, and thanks. I'll be in touch. Quick visit, no time for tea, huh? <laughs> all right, well, nothing of interest here. I'll leave him to his work. Even though he's been isolated for months, Crane just pops in and out in 60 seconds. <laughs> anyway, that's all right. Came to do what we needed to do. We did what we came to do. All right. Where to now? Contact the GRE. I have to get out of here first. Yeah, I'm excited to use the new poison kobesh with the bolter poison. Has a few upgrades left in it too. I don't know how that works exactly, how many times you can upgrade them, but should be enough for now, you know? Does work, look at that. <laughs> That's some good frosty fun. Yeah, we'll try it out here soon. Get medieval on them. Kopesh like to thrack you up and but it's good stuff. Katana Samurai. There's like a few knights or me they know the how raids basically more medieval, more you know, the other styles. Alright, on we go. I met Camden. He was very excited to see Zara's samples. He says if he can get the rest of Zara's data, there might actually be hope of finding a cure. It might actually be. We'll see. Listen, Crane, I gotta reiterate. You better watch your back, your front, and both sides with those GRE bastards. They'll screw you if they get the chance. I know, Doc. I'll be careful. I just need to figure out where things stand. Let's see how powerful our new poison kopesh is, shall we? Here we go. Oh. Deadly, deadly. That was them in an instant. Yeah, that'd be a volatile wasn't thing. That was volatile, so I'd just regular. Oh shit. Well good thing I'm in here, huh? Didn't last long. <laughs> Blow them up with molotovs and things if they can. Welder. Night hunter booster. Ha! Is that the one I got from the PvP? Everything but the kitchen sink, it does everything save for the special occasion. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty much at the end of the game. Don't know how long it lasts, but we got my ultimate weapon, we might as well use the ultimate booster. And then anything else we have. Why not make it? We'll take it. Let's see what it does. Alright, one med kit, and we also have. Constable, Lacerator, Buzz Killer, Nightclub. Plenty of lockpicks, but I do need more Molotovs for now. That'll help me clear out these things. Well, I don't really need flammable liquid if I can make Molotovs, so they both use alcohol, so. Use my strings. Don't really need grenades. Yeah, Molotovs will at least help me get out of here. <laughs> I think there's Volatiles, so kind of a weird exit. I mean, it's literally under the garage door. I left, lost my window to get out already, so we'll eventually find a way. Stamina booster would be nice. You don't really run out of out of them too, mu too much. Let's have the UV flares. Those are the... Ah, that does help against infected. I should make space for that. Got one household supplies. Yeah, those are rare. 
Rare to find. Okay, Molotovs for now. My other grace, so alright. Already in the inventory. I have two Night Hunter boosters. I never used the first one. What does it do though? Collectibles. Oh, well. Alright, let's take one to see what happens. Ooh, look at all those stat improvements. Alright, you take another one, pretty sure it wasted, so. I don't think it stacks, it'd probably just reset the charge and be a complete waste, so. I'm gonna switch to UV. Let's see what happens. Suit evaded, they're still right out there, you so. Alright, well, I have really good stats, they don't last long, though, so. Better burn my way out. Better move on. I need my other guns, so yeah. Just drop that double barrel, it doesn't really do anything. Enough of the arrows for now. Are these volatiles or just regular enhanced zombies? Oh, that hurt. Whatever they are, they're painful. Alright, I only have so much of these stuff. Holy. Yeah, they're just regular enhanced zombies, they're not actual volatiles. They're not that tough. It's making it seem like they're all tough. Alright, are these imprinted stats? Wait, did they run out already? Gosh dang it. I didn't even have the chance to use them, man. That's so freaking brief. I don't really know what it did, but it's more powerful, probably. <laughs> so much for that. I do have one more, though, for later. No matchmaking. I had enough of that. How about skill on power? Alright. Ground pound, whirlwind. Can't use that yet. Best fighter in the quarantine. <laughs> That's funny. How do you get legend? Yeah, something I guess after you get everything. You can fight without getting tired. That's nice. Alright, well, I'll just do this other tree for now. Strike the ground with a powerful blow that topples enemies. Hold control while in midair to execute. Requires two handed weapon. That's different than the regular ground pound stomp, things like that. Boing, boing, yes indeed, Emmy. It's like a spring. Fortnite was hard last night, though, wasn't it? Freaking annoying players. We'll play some more off stream, Emmy. You should try Dark and Darker, though. That'd be a good one for you to learn. Very challenging game. Build up your skills for other games in that game. Alrighty. Crane, I'm Mort Norris. Worked in the town hall before the outbreak. Modernization of maintenance of hydraulic infrastructure department. Oh, one hell of a job, I'm telling you. Miss it more than I miss my kids these days. Uh, okay. So, you wanted to ask me something? Yes, I was supposed to get water running in my neighborhood again. But I can't because of those damn undead and it's killing me. Could I persuade you to do it, please? It would be a great civic gesture, appreciated by tens, maybe dozens of people. Oh, what would I need to do? Just redirect the flow of water again. That's all. It'll be such a help. It'll even get our beautiful fountain up and running again. Yeah, right. So what do you want me to do then? Great, great, fantastic. You just have to get to these three pumping stations and switch the valves. Here, I I'll show you where they are. Extra stuff, yeah. Get to that later. It's already open for other player. <laughs> I have done some co-op, actually. I remember playing online. I did do it a little bit. It's pretty fun. Just have two players basically. It's pretty well made and I'm pretty sure I have it open to fringe join. Yeah, a lot of human co-ops. Yeah, I had a public before and someone joined me or I joined them. But I'm gonna finish it single player unless any friends wanna play. And it's been out for a while, you know, this game been out for Quite a while, I was thinking of Battlefield 2042, maybe buy that, but Dying Light 2 has already been out for a few years, but Dying Light 1, 2021, wow, it feels like longer than that. No way, Dying Light was only out in 2021, that must be the re-release on Steam or something. There's no way it's only <laughs> three years old, there's no way, I played this in 2014. Dying Light release date. <laughs> 2015, yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> it's almost 10 years old. 
It's still good fun. Oh, my sneaky devils. What else? I got here that poison. Oh, those are volatiles. Yeah, those are actual volatiles. Those will get you good. Oh, no. Spinning stuff at me. Toxic lichen. That's really rare. Find on the freaking rooftop of all places. Where are they? All the way down there. Two-ended weapons needed for now. Yeah, he's right to be afraid of them. Those are the most powerful zombies. Very much so. It's very hard to kill them. You saw me kill them on the bus. They took a lot of hits, a lot of explosives. What do we have here? Extra mission down there. In the pool. That's kind of a bad place to go right now. Wants me to go up, though. How do I get up there? So he doesn't kill me. Tower. Hey Troy, give the samples to Dr. Camden. Now I'm gonna go have a little talk with the GRE. And what are you going to tell them? Everything. I'll meet you later, Troy. This is Crane, do you copy? Kyle Crane, you can hear me, can you not? Rise. Where are you? Exactly where I should be, atop my own tower. Of course, mine is not quite complete, but... It still stands as a monument to chaos, to entropy, to what it means to be ruled only by oneself. I'll kill you for what you did to Jade. For everything, I will fucking kill you! I had hoped that would be your attitude. You see, we are at war, you and I. A war of opposing philosophies. A war to see whose vision of the world proves true. Come, Crane. Come and challenge me. What is it you Americans are so fond of saying? I dare you. You know what? Forget it. No. There is no war. There's only your fucked up outlook. Go to hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be going to hell. I will be leaving Arando, you see. I have made a deal with our GRE brothers, using your very own communicator, no less. They know I have all of Dr. Zera's research data. They call it the keys to the kingdom. Very shortly, a helicopter will come and take me away. Imagine the damage I shall be able to do outside the confines of these walls. Of course, if you think you can stop me. You crazy son of a bitch! That is what I had hoped to hear. Come and find me, Crane. Let us finish what we began. Alright, Confrate Ray's on top of his tower. Pretty much the final bit here. So I don't have a parachute, there should be a trash bag or something. There's a trash bag over there, where I can't use it. Or is it grappling like that? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! That's a funny one. <laughs> What's he doing up there? Very hard, all right. Challenge accepted. Got plenty to work with here. Somewhere in that area. Almost. Nice. It's okay, Emmy. Be positive. Let's see. So I have the... Something. Ah! Have they got the abilities where you jump down on them? Let me see. I have this one. I forget how to do it. I have to read about it, probably. But those guys, they'd be good to jump on. I don't remember. My pounding ability. Is it a crouch or something? I forget. Let me read about it real quick just to know. I do have 
Something of that sort. Yeah, I don't even start with the sound. Kill stuff like that. Multi throw I do have. It's a good one. Power points faster. Mm -hmm. Goons. Huh. Yeah, there's some way to actually tromp on them, but it might depend on certain things. Maybe it is agility. Let me see. <laughs> All these interesting things. Critical hits, that's just random there with blueprints. So. Alright, there's our guardians. I need a guardian. That's not gonna do any damage to this range, so I better finish out my arrows, I guess. Whoops, what did I switch off of? things. Oh, those are there. Two multiple targets for the throwing stars. Well, I just want to throw weapons too, so. I can use a shotgun, but I'll oh, we'll start with that. Just give me something to work with. Gotcha, bastard! Hey. So, sucks you can't aim further down. This is the limit. It's pretty constricting. Pretty limiting. Alright, good angle for them here. Use my arrows, you know. That's what they're for. They have throwing weapons too, but they eventually get the job. Where are you going? This over. I'm right here. Oh. Yeah, they are pretty accurate. Might not be worth it to get hit with them. Takes forever to finish them like this. Where are you going? This ain't over. Alright, let's try some other stuff. Don't be like that. Come down. Let's do this. Alright. Multi strike is nice. Do like that. Three at once, it's fun. <laughs> Use the actual weapon. I'm just using the basic weapon. Gosh dang it. There is my actual weapon. Poison. I just want to throw this one. Gosh dang it. It's not effective to hit them all. It takes a long time. No, not that right now. I think they let me do that. Freaking things. What is happening? Whirlwind works with small weapons. It has to be a big two-hander for that. The poison should do a lot of damage. They're just tough, I guess. Tougher than average. That is stamina. That is a new stamina. To the tunnel. Some camouflage, I think. That will make things easier. Don't need every little bit. Just wanted the main cargo. That they guard for a reason, hopefully. 
Just a zombie picking a lot. Don't be concerned. There you go. Pretty good. Ah! Ankle biters. Okay. Do need all those arrows at some point. So many arrows. Alright, I need to kill all of them. Even though it gives me a point boost, it said. Does that apply to stealth kill? It does say I get more points the more streak I do. It said 10 seconds. So as long as you're doing within 10 seconds, this is the best way to level up. Yeah, see how much more points I'm getting for each consecutive kill. Get a big multiplier, basically. 600 is 300, 600. I don't know exactly how it works. It depends on the enemy, I guess. Some are worth more than others. And they all have loot, too, so I need to loot them. It says if you really need resources, you really need levels or something. I don't know. You can do that the whole city. It would take forever, but there's no need for that. Alright, so I'm underground, I guess, for that objective, but. Confront Ray's at the top of his tower, why not? I need to wait for these other things. These extra objectives to figure out. I'm trying to finish the game after all. It's been out for two years. I got it, or back then too. Another friend gifted it to me. What I played in our hotel room. It's time to finish it off. All these years later. And why not on stream? With Emmy, with Dead Man. Good friend. drop king it does have that in skills i guess but um it's interesting Good. Poop, poop, poop. Yeah, the drop kick, it does actually say you have that somewhere here. Oh, there it is. I actually have a point in agility. Let's see. Instant escape. That'd be a nice one, actually. Enemies thrown with grappler knocked down. Stuns enemies you vaulted over. Reduce fall damage by half. Falling from great heights is still fatal. <laughs> Run up a wall or other flat surface even after a jump. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, wall jump. A lot of these are good. It's hard to choose one. The fall damage is kind of the obvious one for just dying less, but... Hmm. It's kind of annoying getting grapple all the time. I'm just going to do that one. Yeah, the fall damage is good. That one's good. Yeah, the vaulting one isn't bad either, but... You know, I have so many... Kumba stomp time. Oh, dear. I forgot how you grab them. There's a way to like swing them around. I don't know. Oh, kill some people. Oh yeah, they're torturing that guy. Let's see what they myself. Oh yeah, they do so they have guns. No chance. The guns just kill you. It's kinda ridiculous. But how it works. Oh well, quick death. I'm not done with you. <laughs> Just survivor points, whatever, not a big deal. But we have a chance for instant redemption. This is actually where I need to be, yes, yeah, the tower. Those are the enemies. I've got what you need. Oh. Alright, no, 
Now we can have a melee fight. Is that all you got? Poison them up. Oof. Smooth. Very Where smooth. Where are you going? You don't like my company? Oops. <laughs> you see that? Clash. You asked for it. That was funny. Fucking. Damn, they're strong, yeah. Underestimate your opponent. Have to do anything as I have stamina. Yeah, yeah the humans are a little harder than the zombies for understandable reasons. Where's my weapon? My Kopesh, yeah, I can't afford to lose that. That is a really good one. First time I threw it there, and probably the last time. Who's this guy? Could you please? Oh, all right. Where's my good weapon? I lost it here. Shoot, I actually lost it. There it is. Never mind. Didn't actually lose it. Just you know, for a second. We're good. Okay, let us move on. What they're regarding here. Yeah, the Molotovs and arrows killed a couple of them. To the final countdown, we should probably go to a shop. Before the end, probably need a lot of health or something. Wouldn't be surprised. I don't want to be in so quick. <laughs> should be a shop around here. Get some stuff. Maybe not here, but somewhere nearby. Shows a delivery thing. There we go, store. Let me just go to that one. That's literally the building over. Trade store. Your friendly neighborhood apocalypse. Got a drop I got a deal for you, friend. Huh, the window. So he doesn't get robbed. And anyway, camel military right. Let's buy the desert one. It's kind of the same thing. All right, what I really need is gauze. Got some guy. I'll take all the ammo too. Alright, that's about it really. Don't need that, but it's just there, you know. I do have this extra shotgun. Not really holding it for any reason. Sell all valuables, yeah, you don't use those for anything else we learned earlier, so I have room for that. Blacksmith hammer, that's pretty cool. For hell raid type stuff. Alright, looking good. We don't have much healing supplies and things, but we'll still be alright, you know. It's not a big deal. I should sell that one, yeah. Have the other rifle here. Lightning arrow's pretty good. They were fun. Okay, desert police rifle, standard police rifle, sandstorm, and my pistol. That's all I need. All we really need. I have to repair this scene. Let's see what happens if it breaks. Maybe I can still repair it. I don't remember what happens. I should probably look that up, but not feeling the effort at the moment to do that. So let's carry on to the final mission again. <coughs> Some more. <laughs> So, you know, wrapping up the last few sequences, last few things. Raise outposts. That's another challenge, I think, after I just fight a lot of guards. Let's go for the main stuff. The sewers? Yeah, that's where you're supposed to go. And 
to the tower, to the tower, on to completion. Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I can't let that happen, and Rice knows it. Conflicting philosophies. As they say. Coffee is yep, valuables. <laughs> Coffee beans. It's a little last bit of fun here, dying light. Eyes open. Good clarity. Infected mobs underground or overground. <clears throat> yeah, I might have to go underground just to see here. <clears throat> it winds back up, it's funny. Before I... What was that? Something heavy. <laughs> oh, we have to go that way. Alright, prepare for something. So blurry. Heavy goo. Shit! That was unexpected. It's like the tank, yeah. They definitely was inspired by the tank. the specials here. What? Who's left for dead? Spitters, boomers, all the explosive ones that are damaged. The boomers don't actually hurt you in left for dead. Oh, man. Keep going, though. to get a tackle doing that you can't stop it so probably just die what did that even do there you go okay never mind sorry oh dear oh dear yeah I'll wait till 7-eleven by the 50 subs we don't get a nightly symbol since then maybe that's enough but I'd really like to just have a cheer debuted by now $250 for a 50 cents cheer. It's a little rough. <laughs> the equivalent, you know. But so it goes. Reader, I got an achievement in progress. Something. in there.
Going to be ninja. Ooh, military throwing knife. Let's try those. Very weak, but they use something. New. They're really just a, like support weapons, they're not main. Yeah, the poison should help a lot. What a magnet going on here. So it's a lot, doesn't it? They are not your flimsy infected. They are pretty tough. I'm glad I had those, otherwise I just wouldn't have any other gadgets, any other tools. I'll have to use some of them. Go to the slums, different area, I guess there is. Oh yeah, that's right, this is the original Bryce area. Made a deal with the GRE. Yeah. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the We started there, Sarah's then we went research. to the other main inner city. We haven't been in the slums in ages. That's right, we're coming back to the slums. Won't that be nice? Tomb Raider, Red Dead next time. 50 subs coming either before 7 Eleven or 90 sub goal. We'll see. Let's we'll grab on up. That's a ban. We can still get some in the van. Some of these extra weapons. Should probably just camouflage and get out though. Well, the van is relatively good, but they'll eventually hit you still. Got it wrong area there. Oh, okay, we'll stick it. Did I get my weapon back? More danger swing. Oh shit, that was going to be bad. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well over there. I can land on that, but it's pretty far away. I'm going to use the camouflage I have left. Oh, I remember the circuit breaker thing. The light traps. No, instant escape. That's what I need. Oh dear, that's what I got. Still trying to throw it, it's not loading. What? Disappearing zombies. Oh my gosh, they sword back. Oh no. Ooh, is that full auto? It is! Got our military rifle. Yeah, I actually put the police rifle. Yeah, this one actually full auto. It's less damage, but yeah, I gotta love the rate of fire. It says it's the same rate of fire, it's just for a different firing type. No, I like that a lot better. Full auto is always my good, you know. First fire. Even though there's better, more damage, this is just more fun, you know. Easier crowd control for me. They're just so tanky, it's like, not gonna matter what I use against them. Oh no. So many. It's rough. Out of meds again, I should probably not mess with these things. On <laughs> the boot up on. And escape and up. So, Get off me. Still missing my sword. It's not worth it, I'm thinking. For a green weapon. So I lost a big one by accident. A oh, good one. Yeah, why are they such different firing types? That's interesting. You'd think that one could do the same thing, but at least you conserve ammo, and it's a lot more powerful. Yeah, I like the other one better. 
This one is better, but I just have a preference for the other one. Silly. So, uh, there's the ninja Peter. It works. Alright, time to go. We're out of health. Let's get on out of here. Safe zone. Well, that's pretty much really. Whew. Hey, my stash. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff stashed that I don't even need. Should have just sold it all. But not that I need the money either, so. It's whatever. It really is whatever. I'm out of rifle ammo. Survivor outfit. What are all these? I haven't seen these before. Ninja! Do I have that? I didn't think I had DLCs. <laughs> well, in honor of Ninja, because uh, it's just in my, my mind lately. Ninja outfit! <laughs> what the heck? That is funny. Good with the katana. What else is here? So the stash, the, there's a bed. Save the game or sign I don't have to, it's not auto save. Well, I'm not sure to get to the rest of it, so that'll be good enough for now. If I can get out. No, there's a let me out. Just watching me for Alright, well, since I'm out of rifle ammo, I might as well put it away for now. Not gonna get more anytime soon. How do you store them, actually? Out of storage. Yeah, you can just drop them here next to the storage. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you just drop them right here. Literally, the storage is right there. I guess it would stay there for the whole game. Things don't really disappear in this one. It's hard to tell sometimes. All right, got my ninja outfit. Isn't that fun? You don't see your, yourself much, but for the sake of it, you know. What else here? Some extra stuff. Oh, there's some elemental ones. Those will be fun to throw. Did I get him? Oh yeah, I remember that bat. That was a more powerful bat. Pretty good one. Got a lot of room. All right. At least get some of my old toys that I used a long time ago. I saw the rifle. That was the extra rifle, the other one. So that can go away. Right there. And take the saber. Looking nice, looking good. Thank you to those who chatted today. Thank you to those 50 subs here. Very soon, get some excitement started. It'd be nice if at least, you know, five or so of them showed up out of 50. Now we're gifted a sub, but we'll see. We haven't gifted them yet. Surrounding. Ninja time. Grapple the zombie. Well, I actually kind of worked. I actually did. That actually was pretty efficient because there was something right behind her to grapple on, dude. Here we go, this one. There's some firepower on that. Ooh. You're going septic now. You want to see what happens if I break it, even though it's my really good weapon. I do want to see what happens, I just don't remember. If I lose the rest of the playthrough, so it goes, I guess. Easy way to finish him off like that. I get sick from my weapon. Cut them down. Cut them in half. Off with your head. <laughs> Just so sharp, you know. It's efficient. Can I say it's efficient? Glorious. Brutal. 
you get, you know, desensitized to it after a while. It's not as bad as some things out there, I'm sure. Some simulations of gore. At least it's zombie gore, you know, it's decaying, undead flesh. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see what happens when I break the weapon. If it just breaks, I'm gonna be a little mad, but... I don't remember well enough. Only one way to be sure. I think you just can't use it anymore. Let's see. You need a mummy, lady. This same dress, yeah, ineffective. So it still does damage, but it's very shitty now. Very, very ineffective. Like, it's like just a sliver. It's literally just a sliver of metal. It's not good at all. But if I repair it, there are two remaining repairs. Good as new. That has fire on it, but I guess you have to actually hit them with it <laughs> manually to use it. See how good the fists are. It's been a while since I've punched it. The ninja fists of all. Sure, things are more efficient. It really don't do much damage to the evil axes. It said I had the en enhanced throw though, so it should be doing more. Just the way it's designed, I guess. Alright, let's clear them out so we can continue. At least I need my weapons back. I lost a lot of weapons. Don't have them. Where'd they go? There's somewhere around here. I'm out of meds too. Need more gauze as always. There's one. Just a few others. Yeah, they'll eventually stop coming, just in the really dense populated areas of the city. You'll have like five different waves, five different groups. So it's not a good idea to just stay there looking for your weapons like I was earlier. I can go back for that other one, but it's not worth it. I can't find these. There's one. Alright, one more and we'll be good. There it is. Alright, let's move on. I just messing around, you know, different styles and things. Make sure to go there. Yeah, that's where I was originally going. Nothing to do in the bed, shops, anything else. Should we go through the tunnel? Probably better to go over. <laughs> Get trapped. Oh no. Can't climb that, I guess. Huh. I guess we can. Fine. Can you give it to them, Frodo? Death freaking crazies. Anyway, it's good stuff. On for good VODs and our fun readings. Fun bit of Darkwood, fun bit of Dynamite. We'll be finishing up here. But tomorrow we'll hold other opportunities. Look for that big nightly sub goal for the month. If we do, we'll have it for the rest of the month, so that will be great. Absolutely. Give me just one second here. All right.
All right, so what else we got here? Carry on through. What's this? Oh, money. A special merchant. That's like a limited time merchant, I think. How the heck do I get to him? <coughs> My ninja. Least shitty. This really is premium stuff I've got here. You don't mind if I look in your trunk then. <laughs> this Coffee. really is premium stuff I've got here. There he is. Alright, Oriental Kopesh. Get a slot for that. Rusty shotgun. Is that better? Like firepower 512. I don't know the difference, you know. Is that a rifle ammo? I don't think he can give me much, but he can give me some. Okay, well I can't see the other shotguns, I don't have it. Uh, just gonna drop that. Or I can actually sell that for now, I can sell it. Sell the iron hatchet and buy the Kopesh. Purple weapons. I mean, I have so much money, it doesn't matter. I have. 50,000, so. Where's that new Kopesh? There it is. So I have my excellent Kopesh, and now I have this one, which is slightly different style, too. I should probably upgrade that one also. Just had two fancy Kopeshes. Just the way the game worked out. I didn't plan it, but yeah. And the ninja suit is funny. I was a survivor so long, you know, basically. You need. Biker guy, but we'll try this too. Alright, let's see how the standard version delivers, and then we'll switch to upgrade. Not quite as sharp as the upgraded version. It still does decent damage, but it's not powerful compared to my winner here. Which is very nice. To your knees, peasant, scum, zombies. I usually call people peasants, but zombies I mess around with. I just have the wrong button still. Okay. Yep, shop is there, I know. I notice. Alright, how to upgrade this then? So we have the sockets and then you can also put poison or other things on electrocutioner's medium let's do that you can only have one of those at a time right let's see if I try to craft anymore it just doesn't let me uh, can dismantle it which is very much not worth it upgrade it with more of these I do have more kings I'm not really saving it for anything else let me just put the second best I guess We'll do Knight, Paladin, and Pit Fighter. I'll save the last good stuff just in case I find another good weapon. Whoops, that didn't work. Try that again. Knight, Paladin, and Pit Fighter. Confirmed. Alright, that should be good. Good enough at least. Cleaver. Pretty funny. Let's move it on. Yeah, I like the elemental damage ones, but the standard ones are good too. Ninja Strike. Never saw Ninja Sassy. <laughs> I like it. Up we go. It'll be quite exciting. Finish it out. I was looking at the audio balance of their VODs. The game's a little loud, but I don't want the game to be too quiet, you know, so I just balance it, mute my mic when I have the important dialogue, but you know, I speak loudly, clearly enough. I think you can hear most things I say. You're about to enter the game finale. 
This part of the game is played in single player and you cannot return to other maps. You'll be able to come back to exploring Haran after finishing the game and loading the last save. Do you want to continue? What do you mean loading the last save? What does that mean? Like I have to load before this? <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, so now it's just the end of the game. Not really much else to use. I do just try out a little bit more of this. Uh, weapon just to practice with it. it let me out of here. It seems to have boxed me in pretty well. There we go. Practice with it just a little more, and then we bid farewell. So, at least some guns to use. Yeah, I pretty much done all there was to do. That was the main tower early in the game. Remember, crane of the crane. I think that's about it. So, let's enjoy finale time. You don't have to double click. You just hold it. You actually just hold it. Yeah. That's fine. That is honestly fine. Fire power. Let's try the new one. Not as powerful as my main one, but it does something. Alright, did we get the idea? Not a med, so I might be in trouble with that. Throw it. Throw this one. <laughs> it's not really worth it to do that. It's just freaking fun to do. Alright, well. Pretty good. What the hell? Now they're disappearing. It shows them still on the map, too. Somehow they just despawn, but they're still technically in the game. I don't even know. All right, any more med kits? I'm gonna be in trouble here. The final mission with no med kits. Three at least. It's something. I'll have to use one now. I think you don't really get healing from any other sources unless you rest or something. But there's no resting when I find. All right, we're as good as we're gonna get. We have our. Kingly Kopesh and other stuff. Survivor Ninja. It's been fun. Eyes open. Long time coming. 40 hours since 2015. Which I did originally play in it. Let's finish it for now with the Dragon's Juice. Thank you to Emmy. Thank you to Poor Dead Man. Look forward to give some subs here before 7 Eleven. But it's only 7-2 right now, so let's finish it off. Here we go. Good to go. Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I can't let that happen, and Rice knows it. To our taunts and tricks. Again. Oh, so. The king streaming the king. Yeah, it happened a few times, same thing happens in the second game. <laughs> just infected, have to fight it off instead. It's interesting. Very interesting. Alright, well, we are in good shape. Let's finish this off. Oh, is this the dream sequence again? Remember, that did happen earlier. We had a pretty intense dream sequence. We saw Jade and all and that was actually a really interesting part of the game. It was quite different, you know. <sighs> Keeping together. Yeah, it's nice it doesn't just break the weapon you know, out of durability. Just explore on the other side of it in case there's any Easter eggs. Seems like they could have added one here, but nope. Not what I found. It together, Kyle, Troy, Kyle. It's funny, Troy talking to Troy. It's pretty funny coincidence. They probably just wrote it before casting him. Who knows? Who knows the story behind it?
Last of Us, good stuff too though. Joel and Joel and Sims. Don't need any boards. Imagine being the game with a board spike. Already used that in Darkwood tonight. That's okay for now. Yeah, this was like the original tower you're in. Pretty much. Alright, let's see how it goes. Hope we don't need the UV flashlight for the finale here. Anything else? Not really. Just some construction implements. Debris with eyes open. We'll be good. Oh shit, what the hell? I knew you could not resist Craig. Oh, would you just shut up? You're the last thing I want to hear. What? Hear me? What a brilliant idea. Uh -oh. <laughs> Much better. It is fitting that an orchestra plays when. I guess I better use something else then if I can't use the grappling hook. Do I have anything else? Not really. <laughs> oh well. I can use that when the time is right. Crash. There. The agents of my will. Run away? Run away where? Gosh dang it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's quite a few of them, so... I think I'm gonna pass for now. Run, train, run! It's what you slaves are good at, right? Run or die. God damn it! Yeah. Like we're supposed to go. Oh no! Oh baby! So much damage. It's volatile as you shit in me right now. Styles after me with the gosh damn zombie baby. Oh man, it's gonna run past it. Might be able to fight them with this night hunter thing around. Yeah, I actually killed him with the night hunter booster. But they still take my damage. Damn it, <laughs> fell off the cliff. Of all that. That <laughs> could have killed me. Oh no. Oh, I lost my med kits. Just the ball of towels, huh? Just me. Yeah, lost my night hunters thing. Let's use the flashlight now, <laughs> after all. Just buy me a second. It sucks having not having any extra help. Shit, that's a close one. You're shitting me right now. No. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough part of it. Wait, you can actually calm him down. Oh, that's how you calm them down. I <laughs> didn't actually know that's how that worked. Yeah, they have been shooting him. Stay back, you bastards. Where's my flare I made earlier? Did I not actually make it? Yeah. Ooh, that would be nice. Bolts. 
much use that, but I don't have the stuff to make it. Yeah, I never used the crossbow. I should have been using that. Alright, maybe this will work against the bullet tiles, but we shall see. There you go. Perfect. That's what I needed. That makes a big difference. What a big difference. About to die. I'll oh, take the grappling, I guess. Dead. I'm trying to switch to my weapon here. <laughs> no! Wow. Just fell through whatever those were. Yeah, it's tough. But yeah, the flares helped a lot. I think I used them already. Like once you use something, that the autosave doesn't actually save. It's just considered part of the game, which is pretty punishing, pretty brutal. I don't know if I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I like that system. Ugh. Okay, use the grappling hook still. We'll do what we can. Uh, where's the UV? I just switched off of. Sorry, I'm switching, but on my Discord now it's distracting. The freaking scroll wheel is always applying to things on my second monitor. It's hard to like, lock it. I don't even know. All oh, this madness. Still can't use the grappling, okay? Calm down. Alright, let me use the bow. At least has lightning and such. I had more flares, but I just don't have the, the components to make more. I kind of wasted that one earlier. Oh shit, come on! You have to be right on the edge. Yeah, that's a tough freaking parkour sequence. Some of the second game has some of those too. Well, we're gonna see a lot of the baby, I guess. Just part of the checkpoint. Electric, yeah, it uses them every time is the thing. It's gonna run out of supplies eventually. It's pretty rough. Alright, let's make it this time. Jump, jump. Very narrow beams, you know, just like that. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> Kicking the zombies, that's fun. That's a good one. Still push through it, it's hard to go. These little beams, yeah, you can't stop on these. Can't stop on this one, but. I don't really want to. Oh. No! You're <clears throat> shitting me with that fucking bar. Oh, so fucking annoying. And the checkpoint is so long, I hate it. I hate this crap. <laughs> At least we found a strategy that works, but it's still annoying, you know? Still pretty annoying. Just the environment is worse than the zombies any month. Any zombies you have to deal with, not nearly as annoying as the environment, because it's so specific. I'm just too lazy, you know? I don't want to have to work hard to finish the game. But it makes you earn it, that's how it should be. Kick some more zombies. That's so funny. Alright, good enough. Alright, as for this one, yeah, just jump again. Q. 
keep your footing, that's all you gotta do. He just jumps across like it's nothing. Alright, first bar. Got it. No, nope, don't got it. What an annoying narrow ledge, like he doesn't <laughs> climb it like he's supposed to. He doesn't hold on to it, it's just slippery. Ugh, that's probably the worst sequence in the game, and it's like the last area. Just setting it up for the next game, I guess. Gosh, yeah, it took a lot of hits, but we can just get there without them contesting the environment. That's all I really need. It's rough. Alright, try some more. It's my last few arrows, so. Oh! Interrupted me that time, just tackled me on that. Wow. Jumped into me. Sorry for all the zombie babies, but it's not like I have much of an option here. If I could skip this sequence, I might actually do that at this point. Just because it's annoying. It's not that difficult, I just don't have the patience for it. I don't want to take the precision control on it, I just want to do it. I want to use the things I want to use, I want to do what I want to do. I don't want to have to play it the way they want me to play it. I don't know. It's rough. That's when you don't kick the zombie. Not as funny. Alright. Don't stop. So what? Might have enough movement to do here. I don't have any health, so I can't really afford to dilly dally. First bar. Second bar. Not even worth the time it takes. What an annoying sequence, man. Honestly. And your health. And I have no medkits. I should have saved some medkits for the end of the game sequence, probably. Gosh dang it. What an annoying time. Fucking run, you bastard. About to kill me on the ladder. Such low health. I might reach, could you? <laughs> might I, are they following me on the ladder right now? They're actually following me on that thing. Fucking scum. I had 10 HP there. This is ridiculous. I don't even have med kits. <laughs> Why are you not giving me any more gauze, game? Just basic amounts to stay alive, not even that, like, extra amount. Fucking horrible. Quite an entrance. Perhaps you are a king. A king of mud. <laughs> no, I'm gonna Your beat him in the fight. I have no help. Accept an offering to the king. You cannot kill me. You cannot defeat me. You cannot even reach me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Gosh dang gauze, at least I have something. Yeah, I probably should not have gone to the end sequence without any medkits. Generally a bad idea. It might be really hard to finish the game now, but you know, eventually we'll get luckier and learn how to fight him if they make it unbeatable without you know, extra health and I'm out of luck I came 99% of the way and I wasn't able to finish the game but hopefully that's not the case oh yeah he's right I can't even reach him because I can't use the damn grappling hook <laughs> oh. you are exhausted well, isn't that inconvenient I need it the most. Such is the story. Yeah, am I supposed to climb this? I guess so. Well, there's some of that. Must be somewhere else. Okay. Nothing there, unless you count the ledge, yeah. <laughs> 
on the edge. Or jump on the ledge. I don't know. <laughs> Ow! Oh, that's, that doesn't seem like that would do that much damage. I guess because I landed on the spiky stuff, I don't even know. <laughs> Can you even walk on that ledge? Hmm. Strange. Yeah, you can't grab that. Alright, yeah. Wow. You can't even grab the lens. <laughs> or at least have the med kit. Save that last med Perhaps kit. you are a king. A king of mud. Save that last med kit, that should Dear help. Grand, accept an offering to the king. Whoa! Shoot some guy thing rocket down. You cannot kill me. You cannot defeat me. <laughs> you cannot even reach me. You're an integral part of the game. Stand under the rocket. Maybe that'll work. Not <laughs> even see that one. Yeah, so you can get up there, but where do you go from there? What the? That's a nasty spot. Maybe this one? Can't reach it. Do you reach me? me? There's got to be some way to finish this. I was enjoying it last time when I actually knew what to do. This time is a little frustrating. It's annoying, you know, parkour sequence, volatile sequence. I understand it's exciting, but without extra health, like tools to deal with it. There's gotta be a way to get right into the rocket. I know it's the best thing I could do. <laughs> so it seems like you start here, but where do you go after this is the thing. You can't jump on that, you can't climb the ledge at all. Seems like he'd be able to, yeah, get his feet up on that. Yeah, he'd be able to stand on that and then climb up the pole, at least. It was more realistic, but... Maybe that's enough. Not, not, enough. not nearly enough. Ugh. Fall damage. Yeah, she got that fall damage straight after. I guess the grapple is nice, but fall damage is generally useful. Well, we could pick it up from there and just take a fresh look around next time. Since I'm not finding it yet. It's only been like five minutes, but... It seemed like you were going to have a fight in here, but... What do I use that for? There's nothing to blow up. Maybe... One of the other... Scaffoldings... Hey, gauze at least. And I actually... I'm alive to use it. Oh! The explosive thing is there. Oh, that's messy. Alright, how about... Zombies aren't gonna come out of nowhere. Is that like homing on him? Seems like it. He can't stand still. Yeah, he actually is shooting an RPG at him. That's funny. That is kind of funny. I should be able to shoot him back then. <laughs> Probably not. But it's fun to entertain the idea. That'd be nice if it was that easy, but... Giant sword reaching. Not quite. Stuck in the pit. <laughs> Gotta be way out of the pit. So you can't use the grappling hook, it's so much harder. <laughs> yeah, that's the only obvious one I can think of. Some of that one.
Just to get around the damn pipes, you know. It's just so confusing how it's laid out. But, there it is. Open here. Alright, we killed him. And did you try and try? Let me offer you a bit of accompaniment. I save you a last make it for actually the fighting him. Suffering, played by slaves. Perfect for a slave. Come on, come on, faster, goddammit. Shot. What the fuck is going on? This is what we get for trying to make a living. Rice betrayed us all. Yeah, I'm on my way up there, Kareem. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker with my bare hands. Not this way. We've laid mines on the two floors above us. Go through the second block as high as you can, and you can come back. <laughs> yeah, it'd be funny if that was him. Alright, can I use the grappling hook? Yeah. <laughs> Probably not for the rest of the game, though. Right. Can I jump to that? It's kind of sketchy. But it did ping it there, so... There we go. Ninja power! Karim mm. managed to warn you, did he not? I was right to shoot him. <laughs> Some might think it unsporting of me taking aim at you like this. I liked you better when you didn't talk so damn much. But I consider it a matter of, let us call it, leveling the playing field. That is a term you can understand, yes? Thankfully you can jump, you know, full sprint from pretty short distance. That would normally be pretty hard to do. A lot of games, but they, you know, focus, they optimize the movement for this. Makes sense that you can. A little more Egyptian music. That's what I lost. <laughs> that was close. Look at these crazy guys. <laughs> Wow, they actually, you know, do pretty well at first. Goodness. Their need for flesh is powerful. So bad. <laughs> Crazy. I fear a height's much, so I would not do well in this situation. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's the big 
Agent Crane, get out of there. Oh, this isn't good. I don't like those blocks at all. Weapons too. Oh, instant death on that, even at full health. Because they're, you know, bloaters. But, good checkpoint. Multiple headshots here. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Alright, like this. Big finale, big conclusion. I can always pick it up from the checkpoint if I can't finish it tonight. This is a tall tower to climb. Nice to give me a ladder. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. And then I'll make you do that for like 20 sequences. And the ladder. Oh. Those actually hurt you. You sound as if that hurt, Crane. Allow me to add to your suffering. It seems like you could just snipe him at many opportunities, but. You yeah, know, it has to be fair, shall we? Fair sequence. Has to be, you know, some opportunity. Special disbelief. Oh, man. <laughs> it's quite a long drop. something I'm in the right place I cast the deciding force consider yourself expelled you bastard don't do that oh. <laughs> well consider I didn't know where to go there Trying to get to the top, huh? Consider yourself an expelled. Expel from what? Holy. All the part here. You know how many men have bested me in a fight before, Craig? None. No one. Never. Where are you hiding, you fucker? Sad for you, it is a club I mean to disband. Yeah, ninja skill suit is appropriate for these things. <laughs> Oh, that was... Yeah, I was trying to do the wall, wall run, but... No such thing. Crazy buildings. Poor Crane. So consumed with emotion. Burning with the need for revenge. <laughs> Eaten alive by hatred. Such feelings make you weak. <clears throat> I hope the fight with him doesn't last forever. I feel like it's going to be more complicated than your average mercenary. Uh, okay. There we go. Well, not much higher we can go to now. It's gonna go on that left side, but I'll see what happens here. Maybe next playthrough. <laughs> So, face to face again. I guess that means I don't need this anymore. With or without it, Suleiman, you're dead. Come now, Crane. Do not pretend you don't care. 
How many lives depend on this disk? Hundreds? Thousands? Perhaps billions. <clears throat> Oh, shit. Freaking quick time event. That was crazy. You are right about one thing, Crane. Oh. Suleiman, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Slices you open. That's you nice. are right about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. He died with his brother. In this city. You don't even belong here, Crane. You don't know what suffering is. Chop my head off. So nice. You are right about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. You are right about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. I hit the wrong button, so it actually fails. I have to the right button, no other buttons. You are yeah, right about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. He died with his brother in this city. You don't even belong here, Crane. You don't know what suffering is. I will teach you, Crane. You will suffer alongside me. Go. You want me to make my own rules? Rule number one, you're gonna spend the rest of your goddamn life in fucking agony. Do not leave me like this, Kren. Prove you are a man. God. Take your vengeance. Will you just shut the fuck up? There is at least a chance that Haran might live. And I will make your death painless. Or resist. And doom this city along with you. You have until the count of five. One. Two. All right, all right. Here. in your chest for situations like that. Oh my. Here. 
Forget the rest of the research and come with us. And I can think of a lot of reasons to tell you to go fuck yourself, but why don't we just pretend for a minute that you don't think I'm stupid? You need the cure. It's here, in the city, somewhere. And as long as it is, you won't try to pull any ministry-style bullshit. Pray, why do you even give a fuck what happens to these people? You don't belong here. This is just a job for you. No, not anymore, it's not. I'll be in touch when I've decided what to do next. Yeah, Doc, I hear you. What's going on? The analysis just finished on the tissue samples. The results are... Well, I don't think the word phenomenal is too strong. Crane, if you can recover Zara's data, I'm certain a cure is within reach. All right. Hey, we'll talk about it next time I see you. and wait until dawn. Good night, and good luck. <laughs> ah, I see it. That is the end. Just leaves it open to that. Bittersweet. All right, so I thought it would be a little more, but no, that's nice. That is the end. All right. Interesting cast. Yeah, the country developers mainly from that country. I'm curious to see. Ninja Man, you defeated Raze and finished the campaign. Special outfits unlocked. Check a player stash. Uh, have to go to the stash for that. <laughs> well, let me see. You can do like, where do you even continue from? Rice is dead. Finally, the fucker got what he deserved. Same with those assholes at the GRE. Thanks to Doctor Camden and Zara's research data, there might actually be a cure someday. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't know what happens next, but I do know one thing. This is where I'm supposed to be. Interesting. Good stuff, pretty good. And we will pick it up, Dying Light 2, perhaps. As soon as I see what my stash is. Back in the actual tower, that's like nice. Survivors. It's like Wolfenstein, it's quite similar. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's check a look, quick look at the outfits. So, let's use that. Which one did I unlock? Badlands Raider. Yeah, you don't see much of these, Hedra. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Alright, well, I don't actually know what I unlocked, but in any case, there's the whole. List there. All right, good for now. And I'm going to uninstall. So, one last look at Dying Light. There it was, <laughs> and it was fun. It was challenging. It was fun. Some good weapons at the end, especially the Kopesh. That'll do it for now. All right, not too bad. Pretty interesting. And that is that. All right, got to uninstall, and I will see you tomorrow, likely after work for a wondrous Wednesday. Thank you to today's chatters. Nice to see you. And we will pick it up very soon. Good readings, good fun. We'll get the bot out. Pick it up later. All right, good night for now. Pick it up very soon. Good readings, good fun. We'll get the bot out. Pick it up later. Alright, good night for now.